Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. And what's not good is the fact that we can't see each other today, but we are joined by a special, very special guest. Oh, God, I'm messing up already. <laughs> George, <laughs> welcome to the podcast, bro. Let's go. Oh, welcome Woo! back. What's good, guys? Thank you. Thank you. George has been on before. But yeah, it was, have it was quite a while ago. Yeah. It's a yeah. disappointing. We were, we were trying to get George into the, uh, into the recording room to yep. see his lovely face, but... You have to just Man. deal with him online, I guess. Well, at least we have done a so podcast nice. together in person. So it's not like this, we're just not have done two Discord ones with him. Like we did do the person in person one. So he knows we um he knows we love seeing his face and love yeah. seeing his uh you know mannerisms when we speak. Love you, Judds. Bro, it sucks. Lovely. It really sucks. It does. I know. I just wanted some human, you know, attention. Human interaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I think it's been the worst yeah. announcement for me, by the way. Like the worst one. I don't know why. Like it just feels like Ah, it's just a t- it's a time, isn't it? It's Christmas. We'll, we'll we'll get into that, I suppose, a little bit later on. But it just just deflates the la- life out of you every time they do this. Yeah, I know. Do you know who I feel sorry for? Go on. The people who? that bought the big turkeys. I know. Oh uh, yeah. You what? know them eighteen people turkeys, like yeah, and then damn. they're gonna have Christmas and... on their own, and they're gonna just have yeah. Like... yeah. Although that's a lot of food, you know, they could they could eat it for the next nine days. <laughs> Yeah, but I feel like they've um, I feel like they've set us up really. I feel like they've uh, they've done it on purpose. They've said like, oh yeah, Christmas is gonna be on, you know, three households. So everyone's gone out buying the turkeys, buying all the food, all the presents and stuff. And presents, then they're like, yeah, the money. Yeah, and they're like, actually, Boom. nah, sorry guys, you can't. So they, they did it just so we could spend money and still support the economy. Yeah. And then they just they're like, nah, actually, <laughs> scratch that. <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> the amount of delivery vans I've seen on my road today, insane. Like everyone's just yeah. Oh, the, the, ordering the Amazon, delays are Amazon, mad, bro. Amazon, yeah, all the Amazon, Royal Mail delay, delays have been crazy. Like we've been obviously running the store. I'm sure it's probably similar for the Savin clothing as well. And just Royal Mail has been so slow. Um, not not obviously yeah. it's not their fault. Like it's just <laughs> millions yeah, of people of ordering, and also like COVID is a thing as well. So that delivery officers are struggling. So it's just tough, tough in these streets. Didn't Sainsbury yeah. say that? Didn't Sainsbury say that they're like gonna run out of vegetables in two days or something? <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> mad. <laughs> Because well, isn't all like international travel <laughs> off? No way. That's actually really? next level, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, no one's no one's flying Something in. Like yeah, no, anyway. yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, um, should we, have you got have you got some what's good today, Simon? Of course I do, bro. Great, let's this go. Is, this is the what's good podcast. I know, I know, but I just thought you know everything's like the what's good section. You're right. Everything's just doom okay. and gloom though. But it's well, okay. this one's gonna have to be a lot more vocal. There is no light. Yeah, I'll turn mine off. But like, you like you guys don't know. Basically, I just want to know your your guys' opinions on these ten things. They are all themed around Christmas, as okay. Christmas the the day this is going out will be Christmas Eve Eve. Okay, great. Okay, great. So, Eve, Eve. um, all right, we have first up walnuts. Ooh, and I know some people are like that. Well, how is that Christmas themed? That's the the Nutcracker. Yeah, it was you know? I'm gonna Google walnuts because I can. Oh yeah, I know what the nutcracker is, but what does the Oh, nutcracker? these ones, the ones that look like the brains. Nut in the nutcracker. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they crack They're open disgusting. and eat the inside. It yeah, actually sometimes, sometimes like they wood. come pre-cracked, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's got a very woody taste. I'd say no. You you say no, you you're not a fan. No, nah, not a fan at all. I'm going to say I'm a fan. I am a fan of these. Like they're not my favorite nut, don't get me wrong. Not my favorite nut, but I, I'll give it I'll give it a um I'll give it a B tier. So yeah, my my light's staying on. Screw you, Jods. No, nah, <laughs> I'm turning my lights off. I th- I feel like the idea of I want to just crack them all, but not eat them. Yeah, she enjoys cracking taste, them. They taste <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> horrible. Yeah. What is he trying to crack I them for foot like a stress them. ball? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are really fun to crack. But crack these yeah. nuts. <laughs> crack these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys not know though that right, like, because they, they look like brains, the more you eat, the cleverer you get. That's why I'm so smart. My mom used to say that about fish. Said if you eat fish brains, you get smarter. I think that is true, though. I think fish, like fish, does have some like qualities to it that do help with being smart. Move on, Simon. <laughs> you don't eat much fish. You don't eat much fish, do you? <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> All right, no. number two. Yeah. Snow. Oh, I love snow. snow. There is no drug joke here. Oh yeah, okay. pure, pure snow. Talking about... <laughs> no, no, no. no. Yeah, act- actual snow. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying I... pure real snow. Like just pure like. <laughs> no, you, you're, making it, you're making it weirder. I am. Making I, am, it I, am. Every time. <laughs> I am. Pure snow. Pure no, snow. I, I, lo- I love snow. Yeah, I like Columbia's snow. finest snow. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Never snows in Columbia. 
But no, nah, no, nah, I love it, man. It's um, it's great. It's school days, obviously, when you're a kid, like you're always sat there next to the radio waiting for um, waiting for the announcement mm. that your school is going to be cancelled. No one does that anymore. No, no yeah, right now it's like a what? text. Like now, now, now the school's head teacher like messages your brain, <laughs> the, the chip Twitter, in your brain, no, <laughs> sitting next yeah, to the yeah. radio. <laughs> like, yeah, did you not do you that, know George? What? No, uh, you never sat with the radio, and it would be like the schools closed for snow are, and then it would list them all off. And you are just you guys wait. joking? No, no genuinely, Gen- yeah. And you wait for your school to be like announced. Like, yeah, and then as soon as you maybe hear that it, wasn't in like runs Black, out. Black yeah. Holmes. I don't know. What? That's not that's not me, bro. You what? never had the radio list. How okay, so George, when you were at school, if it's snowed. I, I had a radio for about 20 years. No, 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 if, if it's snowed, you, yeah. If, so if you were at school, well, you're at home and it's snowing. How do you yeah. find out if your school is open or closed? I don't. <laughs> well, how do you, <laughs> what, you, just, so you would just go? Or? If, if outside looks crazy snowy, I just don't oh, go. Okay, okay. <laughs> you, you make the choice. We, we have a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, attention, please. But do you know what? Do you know what the best thing about snow was? Just you know when you go outside and you make snowballs and your hands get super freezing. Well, oh no, not it's not good. And then you go wash your hands in warm water and it feels like your hands are breaking. Yeah, it's bad though. You know, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, you're you're not describing things that sound nice. <laughs> yeah, that, that was probably not good. You know but... when your hands almost fall off because they're too cold, and then you burn them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's so what happens. That, yeah, that, yeah, you can you can burn your hands because you can't nuts. feel it. Yeah, man, I miss snow. I've been praying for a snowy Christmas because we haven't had one since like two thousand and what. I heard it's not going to happen. Twelve, maybe. I don't want to help him there. I want to, I want to see. London. It's definitely snowed since two thousand twelve, George. No, nah, but you not see? like, not like, yeah, not like sticky. for me. I guess it London, I guess London's the issue in it because in London, like, it doesn't really settle because, like, there's so many cars and trucks oh, yeah, 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 and that. Whereas yeah. back home where I live, it used to be used to go crazy with the snow. And man. it's not normally by Christmas, though. Yeah, you're it's right. Like yeah. January or February. January. No, 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 to be fair, usually yeah. it's like now it's like March. Like, it just yeah, starts true. snowing in March now, it just gets pushed back. <laughs> I feel like Christmas yeah. Day is always just, it's just gloomy. Yeah, always, man. Yeah. It's, it's just gray and a bit of rain. Rain and rain, yeah, and a bit of slush, maybe. Yeah. Like frozen ice. Yeah, I want that. I want a crisp mm. snow. I know, but man. Yes, the yeah, snow the, the winter Christmas. Yeah, because it, it never happens, man. Ne- never on Christmas period. It snows. It always snows, like we say, in like March. They got they got to change the lyrics. You man. know when I'm on dreaming Twitter, of a white always... March. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that happens. You're dreaming of a white. Christmas. Oh, true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. you're right. You're right. But you, you know, on um Twitter, you always see like London and Christmas, and you see Oxford Street covered in snow, and you're like. <laughs> when that, was that, this? Yeah, what? <laughs> when a lion in 1990? What? Because that ain't happened in forever. So, All right, boy. Number three. Yep. Christmas cards. Oh, I I know 100 percent what I'm saying for this. I'm gonna say. Oh God. I would like say yes, <laughs> but. Me personally, I don't do Christmas cards. Do you do you like receiving Christmas cards? I don't receive Christmas cards. Do you like it though? If, oh, you, you, you never, never had one. I'm gonna send you a Christmas card, man. Well, I, I've had I've had like one or two. And did you Christmas like it card. when you got them? Yeah, I was like, oh, this is cool, man. But I haven't really received Christmas cards. Like, I probably received like in the last ten years, like two Christmas cards. That's really sad. That's sad. I, I, yeah, I, I'm the same as George. I, I don't send them out, but I do really enjoy receiving them. Like when I get one, I'm like, oh, this is cool. And I used to love it at school. You know, when you used to go around school and you used to like give each other Christmas cards. Oh yeah, that was cool back in school when you used to do that, right? Christmas cards for all your friends. Yeah. You know? And you got a crush on someone and you're waiting like, are they going to give me a Christmas card this year? <laughs> and they don't. And then you're like, okay, damn. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 that was Laura, by the way. I was like, I hope Laura gets me a Christmas card this year and she never did. Oh, oh, but now look, but now you're married. Exactly. Yeah. Now look. Yeah. That's so yeah. sweet. Thanks, Laura. Uh, <laughs> my, my light would be firmly off. I hate, I hate really? cards of all sorts. Yeah. Hey, I, think it's, cards. I think it's a way Even if it's got a big water. It is, it is a bit outdated because now. Because realistically, most of them never say anything that like, if like, if Randolph got me a card, it's most likely going to say something like, uh, Simon, Merry Christmas. Uh, Randolph. It's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically, that's what you'd write in all of them. You'd just write. Yeah. yeah. And, and now, write. now it's just like, oh, just text me that. You think? Just yeah. Like I don't need you know the what about of a card just to see the words Merry Christmas, which you could have texted me, and then I have to just then I have a card that I'm gonna feel bad about throwing away. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to keep it because where am I gonna keep them? Because if you get a lot, it's just annoying. 
True. Yeah. I know that's Pile a Scrooge thought, but... I mean, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I, I, I would usually like bin them. Like Laura would keep them, but I'd be like, "Oh, that's cool. Put it on my desk for a little bit, show it off, and then and then bin it." Yeah, it's the guilt trip when you rip it. I guess. You're like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. True. Like, I thought, so I'm. Yeah. I, you're literally sending me a guilt. <laughs> yeah, <That's it. laughs> legit. Well, it's like Start have you ever seen um cards out? That's it. Remember Kanye Kanye West's tweet where he was like, "In an airplane, he's like, I hate getting water, man. I was for, I was asleep in this this the air host that gave me water, and now I'm like." Great. Now I'm responsible for this bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the next one is mold wine. Ooh, I love a mold wine. Yeah, light one, man. Banging, banging. Nice. Bang. I didn't like it until this year. Nice. And you warm. had it on this Avenue shoot, didn't you? Did you enjoy that one? <laughs> that's that's where I found out I liked it. Yeah. Is that the first time you've had it? No, I've had it. I had it a couple years ago, but I don't like wine in general. Mm, yeah but yeah. your taste buds grow the older you get yeah right? and it was also i really don't like red wine and i yeah, think same. when i tried it when i was younger i thought of it and like i tried it and then was it in my head i was like this is red wine yeah yeah, yeah. red wine's got this like aftertaste that just like <sighs> yeah it's, it's that taste yeah. that you just get used to more as you like, grow up really yeah. it's weird it's like it's someone's weird put one. sandpaper in the back of your throat but i think mold wine's a bit more sugary <laughs> isn't it? it's a bit more sugary it tastes a little bit more like yeah ravinery exactly. than like it, vinegar it yeah, goes down quicker as well yeah, and that's why it's that's why I liked nice. it. Yeah, it's warm. I'm as still well. not. I'm still not like. I'm still not. I think, I think you like it a lot more than I do. But yeah. Yeah. I'm not like a super fan, but I can drink it and I can get waves off it. Yeah, like if we were gonna go somewhere, say um, Winter Wonderland. Yeah, exactly. I'll have a couple glasses. See, I still probably wouldn't yeah. order it. I'd still get something instead of it. But if someone was just doing around and gave me one, I would like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hot chocolate, man. Hot chocolate with a bit of, uh, what is it, Bailey's inside. Bailey's. Oof. Yeah. See, that's what oh, I love. Oh, my man. God. You guys, you guys like liqueurs? Yeah. Like. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, do you know? Like, ba- like Bailey's. And that. No, Bailey's kind of, it's too creamy. Well, yeah. No, but George, yeah. a it's... hot chocolate and add some Bailey's in that. Because it's yeah, obviously. Yeah, I've, I've never had that before. Now, because yours, would you, would you have like, you'd put milk in your hot chocolate, right? No, I make my hot chocolate with water. Oh, Randolph's fuming right now. <laughs> I know exactly Randolph's face that he's just pulled. Dude, I was just confused, man. I was, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. What do you mean? I, mean, I mean, yeah, I'm sure you, yeah. you do use water, but you add, then you add a bit of milk, right? No? No. See, in coffee Not and anymore. tea, I don't have milk, but in like hot chocolate, I do, because I want that like chocolatey, creamy, like, you know, feel. No, I don't drink milk anymore. Um, But before I used to do water and milk, but now I just do hot chocolate and water. Fair enough. Bro. That's it. Fair enough. Okay. okay. Well, the next one yeah. is personalized tree decorations. So when people have like baubles with their name on, no. or oh, I don't on. like what, it. What I don't is like that it. all about? That is cringe. Like, yeah, why cringe. Do I want, <laughs> what? Come on. I saw one the other day why that I didn't rate, rate it like it. It's so, it so cringe. Yeah, man. I, I don't mind like ones that like got your interest face? on, by the way. So like Laura's got like a Disney one. She wanted to get me some Pokemon ones. I don't mind those because it like shows a bit of your personality and stuff. But it's not having... personalized. Yeah, but... yeah, but yeah. But having like, my face on it face is cringe. On... Like imagine just me yeah. with my beard oh, on a bauble. No. Like, that's that's, like, that's if, nightmare. If I got inducing. you a bauble, George. If I got you a bauble that said like Astro George. <laughs> oh God, it's just that's a that's a big no. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My okay, don't on... open, <laughs> don't open the present I sent you. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I haven't sent you one. Imagine. I actually got a po- I'm I'm a, a, crack, I'm a camera yeah. now. I actually got a Christmas card, by the way. So uh, I, I I buy cards now and then off people. And someone who I was emailing, I bought a Charizard off them, a little, little Charizard VMAX. And he sent me the card inside a Christmas card. That's, that was like, happy, happy Christmas, Aww. Randolph. I was like, that's sick, man. I was like, thanks. That's, that's cute. Yeah. Pick up him. Merry Christmas to you. Okay, yeah. this one, I'm, I'm, I'm quite particular about the next one. Candy canes. Oh, I do love a candy cane. Do you? Not gonna lie. Yeah. Do you eat them? Or do you like? Do you do you like yeah. the idea of it? <laughs> yeah, you like I it eat it them, or... Randall. <laughs> when was the last what? time you ate one, George? Uh, last Christmas probably. When's the last time you ate one that I... you bought and didn't have as like part no, of it? A... I. I don't think anyone just goes to a shop and says, "Ooh, candy cane." Ooh, candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> If you see a candy cane on the Christmas tree, you're like, ooh, candy cane. So you, what, you just pull it, you just see one and just pull it off the Christmas yeah. tree. 
<laughs> yeah, hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. Though. I, feel like you've never, I feel like I've never one. decided to eat one. Anytime I've eaten one in my life, it's always been in my hand. Like I don't know how it got there. Like it's either part of a Christmas gift or it's like in a drink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like a psycho <laughs> that wakes up with a candy cane. Like you're like a candy cane killer. <laughs> yeah. Like, that would be Everyone's sick. died to candy canes, but the weapon has been eaten. Oh, that, would be a, yeah. that would be a sick horror film, man. <laughs> what, the you candy cane killer? Candy cane. Yeah, man. Yeah. You like sharpen one end of the candy cane, stab someone, then eat. Ooh, eat, 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 eat yeah, 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 yeah. Eat their blood off the candy cane as well. Damn, that's cool, man. Isn't that actually a... There was that's a, a nice Christmas skit. There was a killer that was... Like, he used icicles. Oh. Because obviously I, you yeah. kill someone with an icicle and then it melts. Oh. There's no evidence. Oh my god! I asked Laura about that. She, she must know about that. She but what, all do you coolers. carry around a cooler or something with you? No, no, no. Because when that. it's really cold, obviously there's icicles everywhere. <laughs> think about it. Like <laughs> you carry around a cooler. Yeah, but how do you <laughs> keep it <laughs> cold? If, like... if you were carrying around a cooler, I don't think they'd find it hard to find the killer. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, how long can you have an icicle? I get you, but they must only strike in winter. In. <laughs> well, you, yeah, I think so. Or they live on a hot summer's day in <laughs> yeah. Hyde Park with a <laughs> with an icicle. Everyone would look at them like stab someone and just weird, yeah, right? just throw it's like throwing a water balloon at someone. But if it's in winter, the icicle will not melt. Yes, take longer to melt. True, actually. true. It does do that in colder temperatures. But no, it must be like because nah, if you Estonia stab someone, it's Norway. No, if you stab them, then it'd be in the oh, body the warm, and warm up. The body will melt it. Oh, Ooh, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Like Instead of carrying around a cooler. <laughs> I feel like we're giving I feel like we're actually like giving too many ideas away to uh people who may oh, go yeah, to these um, Maybe should we, have... should we go to the next one, guys? <laughs> Talk about it off yeah, camera. If you if you do become a killer and use one of our methods, <laughs> don't blame uh, us. Please do not give us do not give <laughs> us credit. Disclaimer. <laughs> exactly. The icicle stick. Please do not price. give us credit. We yeah, do not legit. want the credit for this. That's true. It was not no. our idea. <laughs> I'm actually about to open another day on my advent calendar, you know. Ooh. Oh, I've been, I've been giving up on mine. I haven't got one. You don't I'm, have an advent I'm a, calendar. I'm the real Grinch. I am the real Grinch. Oh, I, I want to buy you an advent calendar. Yeah, you know, I never got not, a Christmas not, tree. You know what? I think they do still sell them, but then it's not. You don't get the feeling anymore though, because you're just cheating. And I'm not gonna. Yeah, because you're not gonna be able to see him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't really celebrate now. Christmas, man. It's so, It's just. I I don't have a Christmas tree. I do. I was gonna go home for Christmas, but obviously that's all. Yeah. You got any decorations? Nope. No. Oh, you did last oh, year, didn't you? Because you did your living room. Mm-hmm. That must have been nice to be, feel festive. It did, but it also just got in the way a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it did. Uh, and now it's all in the shower, isn't it? It's <laughs> in, that, in the yeah. <laughs> fucking studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, next one. Yeah. Crackers. And I mean Christmas Ooh. crackers. Not dry crackers uh, or they... oh, anything Jacob's else. Jacob's crackers. I love them. The idea no, of them is them, great. Not them. We're not talking about them. Not no, no. About them, George. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. The the ones that you pop. And yeah. you get the yeah. crowns. Woo! Give me a crown, baby. Yeah, I love those. I love them. I love them, they're but so they're, nice. a, they're a bit of a scam, though, because it never really, like, it's not fair. It's never fair, because you can just, Listen. like, if you grab it a little bit further down, you can just always win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't you think it's that tactic. much of a competition. Nah, trust, right, me, in my family, like, trust me, in my family, we take it very seriously. Expensive. We are, we well. are a very competitive like, family. <laughs> and the things you get inside are, like, 20p or like, nah, you got, like you got a one p oh, my mom used to get the great ones though she used to get ones where it was like it was bells or it was like whistles and like you would you, this is what we do on christmas right this is how this is how white my family is right so we get these crackers and they come with bells in and they've got different colors on them and different color represents a different note and then you also get like a booklet of, of oh, like different God. songs so that like each person will hold the bell of the color the and we'll go around songs. and we'll like we'll like make songs but it's actually fun man like I'm, i've got green and you know red i actually had that one year and i think we all bunned it off you know, oh you my god, like whistling jingle inside, bells like on the whistle. <laughs> Bro, the last song you released was a Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, t- talent, talent there, you mate. took musical advice from Bazinga. <laughs> yeah, bro, that oh chorus was fire, though. You, <laughs> you got to read that song. Yeah, yeah. Part two, yeah, it was fire, it was fire, it was fire. Cold War, you like. I don't no, know. Really. The crackers are fun, but they kind of suck. They do suck, but the idea is nice, isn't it? Like you yeah. sit there and you're like, oh, when are we going to do the cracker? When are we going to do the cracker? Yeah, yeah, you get everyone hyped about doing the cracker. It's like, yeah, Polly want a cracker. Polly yeah, want a cracker. Like a everyone is always upset after it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the jokes are so jokes bad. always terrible. Yeah. The crown, <laughs> or, half of them yeah. are always ripped or missing. Yep. And yeah. Yeah. I just like the socks. crown. That's the main thing. I like. think as well just get given the crown. I think that's yeah, Christmas in a nutshell, isn't it? Christmas is like, you're so excited and you re- you get there when you get older and you realise this sucks. But the good thing is that, you, is that you're with your family. Yeah. So that's why this year it's even worse. I don't because, think it sucks. Nah, I feel like I feel like it's always like, 
the idea of Christmas, like, like the idea of Christmas crackers is always better than the actual event itself. And I'm, yeah, only, I'm only talking about the theme and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like actual like spending time with your family is what is the best part about it, you know? Yeah. And food. When you're a the kid food, though, oh. when you're a kid, you're all about the presents. You're all about like the gifts yeah. and stuff. When you yeah. get older, you get older, it's all yeah, about the food. It's all about the, the food, the alcohol, mm-hmm. and then parents and family. <laughs> No, no, yeah, no, yeah, just yeah. the food. Just the food. Yeah. <laughs> just the food. Feed. Just the 19 Yorkshire oh, puddings I... for Simon. Oh. It has to be an even amount, though. It has to be an yeah. even amount. Okay, 18. But um, you like Yorkshire pudding? Is that what you're saying? What? You like Yorkshire pudding? You, you don't understand. I don't like Yorkshire pudding, George. <laughs> he is love one. Yorkshire pudding. I, I, <laughs> honestly. Oh, don't, oh, I'm actually, I want Yorkshire puddings now. I've never had a Yorkshire pudding. You never what? had a Yorkshire pudding? George, I used to eat 25 Yorkshire puddings for dinner. That was it. You that, never had how? One. Just 25 Yorkshire puddings and No, gravy. Yorkshire pudding is that, like, it's like, it's like a pastry puff, and yeah. it's like got a dip inside of it, yeah, right? Yeah, we put the gravy, bro. Yeah, Oof. no, I've never had, yeah. Oh my George, God. George, we gotta get you one. We gotta, we gotta go for like a roast one day. When this, when this all blows over, we gotta go for like a big roast. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> roast yeah. bang. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea, you know. <laughs> we told George we're going for a roast and he comes with like a list of like insults. <laughs> 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 All right, so, well, the next one is stuffing. Oh, George? I don't, do, I don't do that, guys. <sighs> wait, wait. All right, let's, listen, I'm black, all right? <laughs> My Christmas is a little what's, bit different from what's your you Christmas. Christmas. What is Christmas, a normal... Right? Actually, well, we'll do that after. We'll do that after. Yeah, we'll do that after. There's three more left. So you're stuffing, you don't... No. My Chris. No. Okay. I'll tell you what my Christmas is after, but stuffing, stuffing. I ain't ever had stuffing. We have, oh, you have had stuffing. it, though. I ain't. That's crazy. You might not have. I, Randolph, I actually only had it for the first time about three years ago. Simon, what? You guys actually, my mom don't cook turkey. My mom cooks chicken. You get some. You stuff, stuff, you stuff, 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 stuff with chicken, but now nah, my mom used to like make a, 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 like a pot of stuffing, put it on the food. Oh, yeah, no, no. We always had stuffing, but you I didn't just, have it. I always okay. thought it looked gross. So nah, I never ate it. Stuffing, I used to, I used to eat it. Turkey, That's what I'm saying. Right? So she used to put it on the yeah, plate. Yeah. I, I used to go back into the kitchen after and eat it out of the bowl. I, it's the best thing oh, ever. No, man. I, trust me, trust me. I love it now. Yeah. Like, Stuffing, bread sauce, cranberry sauce, oh, all of that. I just mix it into a, a mush and then oh eat my God. all of it. Yeah, it's bro. amazing. All right, but stuffing. Okay, stuffing is off for George, but on for us. On for us. Mm, wait till yeah. we go for this roast, George. You try it. Last two. Yeah. Christmas remakes of songs. Like new, new remakes of Christmas songs. Okay, I'm not mad no. at them. I like them. I like them. I'll tell you why. George, what, 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 what are your thoughts? Which ones have been remade recently so I can know? Uh, you know when people do like um, they do remakes of All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Yeah. Um, nah, man, you can't beat Mariah. Nah, but like, say like old ones, say like um, like Rock Around the Christmas Tree or something like that, or I'm Dreaming of Like a White Christmas. Say like Frank Sinatra or something did it back in like the forties, and then some Donny in the nineties redoes it, and then Justin Bieber redoes it. That type of thing. I I, I like mm. it. I was gonna say because I I prefer them. I like original songs always, but I feel like yeah, people can do a new song that's dead. So I'm like, I don't mind them updating it, you know, to like a warmer 2020 feel. But because the, the songs are good, right? Like, the, for the, example, the lyrics are good. All, all I want for Christmas is you, obviously, Mariah Carey. Yeah. Um, there's the Justin Bieber and Mariah Carey version. There's a Fifth oh, Harmony version. There's yeah. a Michael Bublé version. Oh, yeah, banging. I, I, I don't mind. Michael Bublé. Who's the guy that does? It's beginning to feel a lot. Like, look, it's beginning to look a lot like. <laughs> look like, yeah, Michael uh, Bublé, right? He's done, he's yeah. done that. <laughs> Like that, that, that was probably the original song back in the day, but he he then did a new version. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't mind that it, man. Screw it, man. If it's Bublé, he can sing whatever he wants, man. Great voice. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, to Thank be you. fair, Michael Bublé can, he can remake anything. Yeah. If he wants to remake God's Plan, hard listen. <laughs> yeah, that would be dope, actually. I'd be interested to hear that. God's Plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Uh, and the last one is okay. Takeaway on Christmas Day. Ooh. So no from me, champ. Ah. It's a no for me, but I mean, if you're lonely, crew. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. what about what about people that are just like, oh, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to cook because. But think if about you it, are right? ordering takeaway, what are you eating? Chinese. A lot of people McDonald's. do order Chinese on yeah. Christmas Day, right? I'm, I'm not mad at anyone who does it. By the way, it's just we don't. We have like a, uh, well, we usually have like a picky tea where it's like food on the table, and my my, my family, like my extended family, will come over and stuff. That's what we we'll do, do like games and that. Wait, do you do like? You, so you have your Christmas lunch, yeah, like in the afternoon kind of thing, and then you yeah. have your your dinner, which is like just bits of random foods that you just kind of 
I don't know, like yeah, yeah. So like Scotch eggs type thing, and then like bread with like yeah. butter on it, or cobs, cobs, sorry, yeah, or like rolls, that. rolls. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, Pringles. Scotch, yeah, we, Scotch do, eggs we do that as well for Christmas. For Christmas. <laughs> no, no, Scotch no. This, it's not for Christmas. It's like your Christmas dinner because it's low effort. But like it's tea, like, yeah, tea. Or just uh, yeah, dinner, yeah, evening meal. I never had a Scotch egg either. This <gasps> Bro, that's man. I want to do a video with Jules where he tries. <laughs> you got to do that. <laughs> yes, yes. There'll be so many. There'll be so many things you didn't try to do that. There's for sure. so many foods you st- you seem to have not eaten. Yorkshire <laughs> pudding, bro. I haven't eaten all the like main British food. Like, well, well, there's a first. Once you do, you'll enjoy them, bro. Well, you might not. Find out on Simon's video coming in, in 2022 <laughs> yeah. when people can see each other again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we're out of tier 17. Oh, God. Yeah, exactly. Um... Well, yeah, that was actually the last one. So I want to hear what George's Christmas day is normally like. Yeah. Well, my, Give us a, a normal Christmas like. day. All right. So normal Christmas day. I'm at the mum's. She's cooking food. All right. She's making black cake, a.k.a. rum cake. Jamaican what? fruit cake with a bit of rum in it. So she makes a Jamaican cake. It's got rum. Okay. Um, It's beautiful. Rum and raisin cake, basically. Ooh. Then she's also cooking macaroni. Oh, All right. that sounds nice. With her, got the potato salad. All right, she's got the um the curry goat. Yeah, we eat curry goat on Christmas. We eat everything. She's got the lamb as well. Sometimes it's spicy, isn't it? The yeah. Lamb. Then, then she's got the, yeah. Then she's got the the um Brussels sprouts. You know. Then she got the big chicken as well. <laughs> big chicken. A bit of gravy. Bit of gravy too. Do you like Brussels sprouts? I not really, to be honest. <laughs> you, you said it. You said it. Then the Brussels sprouts. I don't like them though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not really. Um, we just have so much stuff. It's not like Christmas theme stuff. It's just like everything. It's just like a a big oh a big meal. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And then we eat. That's it. So what's like? What's the day though? Stuff. What's the like? You wake up and then what? Because like eat. for me, for example, it'll be like... <laughs> wake up, eat straight away. We, me and my brothers will wake up and we'll have like the stockings. Oh no, we don't do none of that, man. And then well, after that, then we'll go downstairs and we'll open some presents by the tree while mm. while the food cooks. And then we eat the food. And then if there's anything left, we'll go do that. And then it's... Yeah. Just... No, we do... I, guess, I guess my siblings just wake up. They open their presents and then my mom's cooking. And then I just sit in the kitchen sometimes, watch her cook. Or... Wow, it don't help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just watch her cook and just have chat, chit chat with her. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's it, really. That's it. To be she fair, yeah. cooks me something special every every year round because I'm vegetarian and she's not. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, my brother's husband, like vegan but, as well. To be fair, so when we do Christmas, he has like what we have, but replacements of like zero yes. like a, a nut roast. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, it's actually nice, you know. That's actually I'm, really nice. I've never had a nut roast either. So there was the one, you know, when I was vegetarian for a year and a half. Oh yeah, because yeah. of George. So, because of George. <laughs> that, oh, that, yeah. one, that one was George. Bet, yeah. Well, the whole point was, for some reason, our maths, me and George, by the way, I don't know if George, you've ever figured this out. Our maths is the worst thing in the world. We start, oh, Jesus. So what did we do? I started being a vegetarian on November 15th. Okay. Okay. And the logic was, I'll be a vegetarian <laughs> for one month <laughs> yeah. so that I can eat Christmas dinner as my okay, meal yes. back. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Christmas is the 25th. <laughs> yes. So one month after the 15th is the 15th so of December. You've got 10, you got ten, you got ten oh days to eat nothing until you have God. your meal back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we were there like, so I got to the point where I was like, well, okay, no, I'm, I'm going to do more than a month. I'm going to go to Christmas Day. So it's 40 days. And then yeah. I got Christmas Day and I thought to myself, like I hadn't told my mom, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to eat meat. But yeah. she had got uh, like a... A nut roast as well, just a small one, just in case. in case. Yeah, yeah, and I kind of on the day I was just like, I have no real desire right. to yeah. eat Fair. meat, so I didn't. And then I was like, I'll go to New Year's, mm. and I went to New Year's, and then it carried on, and so so on, so on, whatever. Yeah, and I think I ended up doing two Christmases without. That's great. Yeah, you went on for a no, long you time. Did well. I you I was did like, well. Oh, you did my hair well. I was like, really well, man. <laughs> well, not not that that two again, Christmases. But, I missed yeah. the meat. Yeah, but you know when you once you're in it, it's very easy to just forget about me totally yeah i guess sam and how was the experience for you it is it is good it's just a thing of i'm a very fussy eater yeah so you just felt the urge 
Yeah, so like, it was just a lot of places I'd go and I'd be like, oh, I, I don't like anything here. Cause yeah, and that's I think that's the thing with like eating meat. It's just more of a convenience because yeah, it's, when yeah, you're vegetarian yeah. and vegan or whatever, you kind of have to always be a bit more picky than the normal person to find yeah. your alternatives. Like you can't just go anywhere and just be like, okay, cool. I'm going to get a decent meal here. Yeah. Like, you got to look beforehand kind of social stuff yeah i feel like convenience and food is always a hard part yeah now i think missing two christmas dinners like because crazy yeah because obviously the first christmas dinner anyway my mom wasn't ready for me to like not eat meat so half my meal was gone basically because i know like sausages and bacon (laughs) i know i know turkey i think the stuffing has meat in yeah i think it does bits yeah yeah so it was a bit so i sat there kind of just literally eating potatoes and parsnips that was about it, like, <laughs> so... But you, you hacked it, though. Yeah, it was still good. Well, I mean, those parts are still amazing, but... Yeah, yeah it was... Yeah. I'm yeah, happy. Wait, <laughs> I'm happy I random, ate meat. I just remembered, do you guys have rice? No. On Christmas? No. Nah, no mm-hmm. rice? No. Yeah, of course. I have rice and rice and peas. So white rice and rice and peas. Damn. I guess like, on Christmas, really, it's whatever you're like... Obviously, like, we don't do, like, turkey every time. It'd be, like, chicken. But usually, it's just, like, uh, what you normally eat as, like, a roast type thing... Uh, on Christmas, but bigger, right? So I guess if you uh, if, that's, if that's the type of food you eat yeah. with your family anyway, George, you're just gonna do it on Christmas. Yeah, bigger, yeah, that's it? like my normal. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's my normal food. My Sunday dinner can just range from anything. So what do you what What's the best present you think you've ever got, George? If you can think of it, <sighs> that's a hard question. I know I've just sprung that up on <laughs> yeah. you. Is there any presents <laughs> yeah. that stick out? To you? Stand out. <sighs> <sighs> Like they don't have to be the best. Just anything that stands out. Um, when I was a, when I was like, maybe when I was a kid, I got. I remember one year specifically, I got a midi motor. Oh, they're sick. Which, which was like the best thing ever. Do you know what a midi motor is? It's a, it's a little it's like bike, isn't it? Does. Yeah, it's like a miniature bike. It's tiny. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you I'm looking look at it up. right now. Yeah. yeah, you put petrol in it, you can ride it and everything. And I got one of those and I felt so gassed. It, like, yeah. Yes, I had a midi motor. I was just riding it around in the park. Like, <laughs> ring, ring, <laughs> ring, yeah, ring, I just wanted those when I was a kid. Right. Did you crash got it? Traffic, got a, yeah, got a couple <laughs> yeah. scratches. But it was, that was an amazing gift as a kid. Like, still have it now, to be fair, but it's a bit rusty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I do have it. You still that was got one it. Of most, yeah, man. That was one of my most memorable gifts ever. Damn. It's weird, isn't it? How when you're a kid, you just want like yeah. a mad toy. And yeah. And as soon as yeah. you get older, you're literally like, eh, I don't really like, yeah. as, like right now, I, there's nothing I'm asking for for Christmas. Yeah. Socks, yeah, man. Like, like legit when, socks. My, got my, I got holes in them. I even ordered some off Nike, man. I even ordered some new socks and they, they emailed me like, oh yeah, we, we actually don't have this. Sorry, we'll refund you. I'm like, God damn it, man. I just want socks. <laughs> Did you guys get have PSPs and stuff? Yeah, I got a PSP. My brother had oh, a PSP. My. I got a PSP on Christmas, right? And then my brother set it up for me. I loaded it in the morning and like the whole game was finished. I had to make a new save file. Imagine that. You get your mum buys you or well, <clears throat> Santa gets you a gift and your brother just flipping plays it, man. <laughs> Dead. You finished the whole game in a night though. He finished a lot of it. He didn't finish the whole thing, but like, I, like he didn't delete his save. You know what I'm saying? So I, I went to start a, a yeah, new game like and halfway I had to make a new one. I'm like, what the hell? I, I did not ask for a second hand copy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, stress. What about you guys? What was your favorite? I think mine was my GameCube. Oh, GameCube. I had an Xbox one year, yeah. Well, I was always Solid. the Nintendo. I was the Nintendo kid in my family. Yeah. So Same. I'm, I'm, I'm about that. consoles. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I, I wasn't like a Nintendo kid. Like, they were the Nintendo kids. I was just, uh, just a kid. <laughs> they liked to copy, copy what they did. Yeah. Um, I mean, the main thing is is the food at Christmas. Yeah. And obviously I feel like I feel like Jaws has said his mum does all the cooking. Yeah. I assume yours does as well, Randolph. Yeah, my mum and my dad and my, my, my you, sister will help. You've, slate your, you've slated your mum's cooking in the past. <laughs> Jules, have you good. heard this by the way? Uh, what? So there was one podcast no. where Randolph goes, Yeah, my mum's cooking has fallen off. Oh bro, <laughs> come on. But it worked, How man, because now because now she's it was a joke. It was a joke. I said it for a laugh. But she did actually did she take it up her levels. That, yeah, she did up, <laughs> she did up the levels. Yeah, so uh, she's like Randolph. Legit starts upping the levels, starts whipping up the magic. You know, one year, one year I got a robot, right? 
it was sick. Like it was like a, a little yeah. robot. But you know what? You know back when robots were really, really cool. Like yeah, everyone wanted oh, like, robot dog yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember control robot that would like drive around and it had like a tray on it, so you could put like you could put a drink on it and then drive it to the kitchen <laughs> and then like drive it back and stuff. What? Uh, I used to love it. I'm crazy for it. I can't remember what it was called, but I think it, it must be like a popular line because it had like a name and stuff. Oh, try and find out oh, one day. Remember there was like a one toy that everyone had, I'd say. And it was it was also a robot. It was black and white. Mm. You could it could speak as well. It had like a claw hand. Oh no, I think I can. Oh, I wish I, I feel like I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think I do as well. Everyone had this one toy and it was so popular. But I just can't remember the name. I'm gonna have to send you guys the link. It was from Toys R Us. Yeah. Uh, toy, I, that place was like Disneyland, you know. Yeah, it's gone now, yeah. isn't it? R.I.P. Yeah, man. When my parents used to take me to Toys R Us, I, it used to be like Neverland. Yeah. Like you just in this place with big rows of toys. You're just walking through, just walking through, looking at everything, touching. Can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get this? <laughs> like, oh, man. Amazing. Yeah, for sure, man. But do you feel like uh, your mom goes like overboard and does like bangs it every year? What's that? Like, uh, my mum, I'd, I'd say at Christmas especially, is like Wonder Woman. Yeah, hey, legit. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah, 100%. Mine too. Although my, my, my mum used to be Wonder Woman. Now she's just woman. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're so... It's a joke. It's a joke. You're mad, you know. You're mad. <laughs> but what do you... Sam, nah, yeah, do you like to... Um, mum's go above Christmas, and beyond. Do you, do you like to watch films? No. Nah. <gasps> I, oh, I found the name, guys. What is it? Robo Sapien. Oh wait, what? Let me. Wait, I don't recognize that. Wait, Robo Sapien. Look, look at this. Oh yeah, you I know it. Yeah, I know. Remember you know, this bag? Come on. Oh yeah, I know this. Everyone yeah. has this thing. Robo yeah. Sapien. Can you still buy one? Yeah. Mini one? What the hell? It's only eighteen yeah. pounds now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, origi- the original one was like ninety pounds. It's that's the mini one. The big one, I think, is still like eighty pounds. Damn. But I swear that was like the maddest thing in the world then. Ye- yes, now it's it just was like, yeah, at quid. one point. No, yeah, it's twenty quid. You can just get that. Yeah, it was amazing, man. Robo Sapien. <laughs> well, um, yeah, no, Randolph. I I love watching films at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Well, this um, year we can watch Wonder Woman. Boom. So that's why, guys, this podcast right here is sponsored <laughs> by HBO Max. We've got a delay on our voices on Discord, so it's really hard to coordinate that. Um. But yeah, guys, make sure you go and check out HBO Max. You can watch the Wonder Woman brand new film. Um, the film is is the right movie at the right time, giving audiences both a chance to escape and to hope. An all new chapter in the Wonder Woman story. Wonder Woman 1984 Jeez. finds Diana Prince living quietly among mortals in the 1980s when George was born. The era <laughs> of excess, well driven by the pursuit of having it all. An era completely different from where we last saw Diana. Though she's coming to her full powers, she maintains a low profile, curating ancient artifacts at the Smithsonian and performing superheroic acts incognito. But now Diana will have to step directly into the spotlight and muster all her wisdom, strength and courage in order to battle the cheater ooh, and save mankind from a world of its own making, proving she's a hero for our time, for all time, for everyone. The film has a great story peppered with fun and humor and even more of the intense, exciting Wonder Woman style action you loved from the first film, full of heart. Hope and a bit of mystery, intense Ooh. epic action sequences, and a few surprises. Everything just, you want in a Wonder Woman movie. And just like in the pre previous Wonder Woman film, there'll be something for everyone to enjoy, but a lot for the tried and true fans to love as well. The fate of the world once again on the line in a way you can never imagine, and only Wonder Woman can save it. So guys, Ooh. in theaters and on HBO Max on December the 25th, streaming on HBO Max at wonderwomanfilm.com for a limited time of 31 days from its theatrical release in the US only and at no extra cost to subscribers. So if you go to uh, wonderwomanfilm.com to check out the Wonder Woman 1984 on HBO Max for a limited time of 31 days from its theatrical release in the US only and at no extra cost to subscribers. Boom. We obviously, everyone international as well, if you're in the UK, the film's still coming out, but um, the offer of being able to see it 31 days after its release is America only on HBO Max at wonderwomanfilm.com. So go check it out. I'm actually a big fan of the Wonder Woman films, man. I got to admit, I was never a massive fan of the DC side of, com- of the, uh, the comic book films. I was like, I was like a big Marvel fan, but I remember the first Wonder Woman was one that I actually like, I, I loved. Did you see it, George? The first one? Listen, if it's got Gal Gay on it, I'm watching. <laughs> I was going to say that. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say, she, like, she's a hero. She is literally. absolute. No pun intended. Arena. She's like six foot seven, right? Or something like that. She's mad tall. 
Is that what you're into, Jod? Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if she's offering, if she's asking, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, she is actually Wonder Woman. She's so beautiful, man. Oh, <laughs> this took, took right, a we'll turn. Move on before, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll move on film, yeah. Go check it out, guys. Yeah. You hear my huffing and puffing. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, Christmas is Christmas is ruined. That's. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally late. <laughs> so for those who don't know what we're talking to. about, in the UK especially, I mean, COVID is, is international, it's around the world, but in the UK recently, Boris Johnson, our prime minister, did a uh, an announcement or a news conference where he announced that, especially in London, right? Specifically in London, I think, we're now moving to like a tier four, which which wasn't even a thing, right? There was no, there was no tier four, mm. it was just tier one, two, and three. Yeah. Uh, oh, I added a new one, man. That's awful. I know. What's the most uh, frustrating thing for you? For me, it's uh, like Christmas, man. Because like, I was had plans to go home. Um, I was like, the whole of December, I've just been not not. I've been waiting to go home. Like li- literally, like, I've been everything's been leading up to me going going home, spending time with my parents. Because I haven't seen them. You're the same as well. I know Simon, but I haven't seen my parents really at all this entire year. Um, if not yeah, for the shop, yeah, like the wise. business, they would have. Yeah, then they them come in to help us like pick and pack orders and stuff. And like, in an emergency like you setting, I wouldn't have seen them. I don't think. Yeah, I just, I think this whole year has been a bit of a, a shambles with everything. Yeah. I'm just hoping next year is better. It's like, oh. I just don't think it will be I yet. I, feel like, I think like, yeah, maybe towards like the end of it. we're yo-yoing. You know what I mean? We're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, that's the issue with well, me for the Christmas one. This tier four is going to continue, isn't it? Yeah, this, apparently. This tier four is going to continue. But yeah. It's, everyone, I, everyone has the same thing of as soon as it hits 2021, <laughs> yeah. we're all yeah. good. Coronavirus disappears. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've made you year. Yeah, I've made you year. Stinky, you have it back. Here you go. Yeah, it's just like it's just like the yeah. world works on like a yearly basis. Like that's just the way the sun goes up and down. Isn't it? That's just what we, that's what we interpret yeah. the time to be based on like the sun's movements and that. But <laughs> I just dead. The worst thing about me with this announcement is that they made it. They, they announced that for Christmas there's going to be like three households that you can have for a certain amount of days I or something. Hope. And then there was rumors they were going to drop it from three to two, and then. They announced like three days later. Nah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you just <laughs> and like you just it, can't. Yeah, so it's just a, yeah. it's just about preparing yourself for it, really. Like, like if I knew a month ago or two months ago, you you're doing it fine because you'd have made peace with it then. You would have made arrangements and stuff. That's that's the worst part. Like, like, not only is it mentally jarring for most people, which is the main issue. Like, everyone wants to see their families after such an awful year. It's also like people yeah. will have booked like like cars, trains, hotels, presents, all this stuff that's just gone e- now. Everything just, you just lost it all. E- yeah. And I also feel like December, like win- the winter periods are also, it's also a very like down period. Yeah. A downtime, do you know yeah. what I mean? A lot of people Stay inside and stuff. Uh, get upset and stuff during this period because they just want to be with their family. Mm. It gets dark early yeah. as well. And then being with your family is like one of the best things Literally. around this time. And now we can't, we can't be with them. So it's like, cool. Yeah. It's not, it's not about Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's not about Christmas being like, the different it's about you're not being able to see most in most cases your family obviously some people are fortunate like if they're um if they're like yeah, yeah in tier four already or live with the families and stuff but yeah i know a lot of people minor family included is going to be split up did you year. see that clip of st pancras yeah of like oh yeah that was insane yeah. that was just everybody that trying to get out and go back to their families yeah. before. So for those who don't know what we're talking yeah, about, the, there's, there's a video the yeah, yeah, like, emerging from uh, St. Pancras, which is one of our well, one of the big train stations in London. And um, the, the announcement was that from midnight tonight, th- these restrictions are going to come in place. So obviously a lot of people then thought, all right, well, I'll, I'll just get out now then, which is, I guess, fair enough. But the issue then is you've got hundreds of thousands, of, well, that, across the country, hundreds of thousands of people trying to get out of the city that they're in, trying to get to their family now, which obviously surely is going to make it worse, right? Because... Say people are gonna get yeah, back from now Christmas. Everyone, yeah, yeah, they're all gonna, they're all now gonna travel from London to the rest of the country on a train. Some yeah, of them exactly. will have it. Yeah, so they'll yes, be spreading it to the rest of the country to while the rest also being of the surrounded nation, yeah. by everyone who's going to other parts of the country. Yeah. Oh my god. Whereas I know obviously, big... I know obviously, like it'll, it, it, the, the issue is that they don't want people spending time with a Christmas together in a like enclosed house with no ventilation and stuff. But the issue is like. Now it's going to be more of a rush, and people may have taken precautions. You know, people may have like made sure they're hygienic, make sure like the, the all, all masked up anyway, and then separated maybe like in a, in a car or a train that's like not as busy, etc. Whereas now, because of the mad rush, like surely that small amount of group of people got more of a chance of spreading it as if we just 
had Christmas as no not uh, well not normal but as Christmas had Christmas with the way it was planned before. So surely it can't be a good thing. But I, yeah. I just don't know the scientific stuff behind it, so I can't really say much. Yeah, but question for you guys: How have you coped this year? Like, have you felt it to have had a big effect change in your lifestyle? Yeah, I mean, work wise, things you've had to yeah, sacrifice because oh, yeah. obviously, like. So I we haven't been able to do stuff we wanted. Yeah, stuff like that. But in terms of just me, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm quite good at dealing with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm quite a pessimistic person in, in any way. So I'm <laughs> yeah. kind of just there like, oh well, I mean, yeah, it, just, it is what it is. Yeah. Deal, like yeah. I was like, life shit anyway, just carry on. <laughs> so Well, I've, I've said it more know, like a lot yeah. of people took it really hard in terms of you know, because it's harder to see people. It's harder to do anything. Yeah, I think for me, yeah. for me mainly, like mentally, it's been awful. Like, but it, it I, I said a bit on the podcast before, but just I'll say again, like it for me, it was like a slow process. So at, at start, I was like, okay, uh, obviously, I mean, when I say it's not that bad, I mean, you know, dealing with it is not that bad because I'll, you know, I'll just stay inside. The, the, obviously, COVID is bad, but I'll just stay inside more. I'll film more. I'll do Twitch more. I can focus on some goals and stuff. But then, like, I think month by month. When it starts, bec- that when that when that starts becoming the, the norm, la- n- norm now in your life, that's when it started to take a toll on me. Because like I was like going on runs and stuff, I was like making sure my sleeping is in- sort and everything like that, um, FaceTiming family and stuff. Then day by day, once you start being in this new routine of not going out and stuff, you just lose like the lose the little bits yeah. of life that make you like it, it kind human. Of if you know what I mean? You, <laughs> so now I'm just like a mush, just wow. sat here like you know <laughs> the, the small things man even like even getting the tube to like come do the podcast with Simon like you know you go on the tube you got a bit of fresh air here and there whereas I started just taking cabs everywhere um you know and then outside yeah. of that you don't see your family anymore and even you, you, you forget like, the little things of just seeing your family for like a few minutes maybe or it just really, really does help um and just socializing with people like we, we did a Simon shoot the other day Simon where um a while ago you know when we did the the it's not out yet but this video is coming up and oh, yeah, i was yeah. i was i enjoyed that a, a lot because it's like just seeing friends but i haven't done for a long time so often with the, for like the podcast especially when we've got guests on as well it's like seeing someone new as well um and then doing like the quizzes as well it really like keeps me going and those like small like interactions with people is really needed and when you don't have that you don't realize you're not having it as much but when you don't have that i think like it just takes its toll on you massively so that's, that's where i was really looking forward to going home for christmas yeah for me for me i feel like I haven't seen a lot of my friends this year. Yeah. Like probably we, I'm, I've got like a group of school friends. We usually see each other like once, two times every month. Yeah. This time I've probably seen them like once or twice the whole year. But it's weird though, right? Because yeah. you're and still in touch with them. Point. You're still talking to them on like yeah. WhatsApp and stuff, Discord, which is good. Because you, you feel like yeah. you're scratching that itch of like interaction, but then you're not at the same time. Because <laughs> you need that physical. Yeah, you haven't right? had the physical contact. Exactly. And I've also felt like people are it's affected like people in different ways and it's like I've, I've realized that some of my friends i haven't spoken to them for like six months yeah now and it's like i message them and i'm like oh i hope you guys are okay and they're like yeah we're just here just like coping yeah just like working from home like that's all like they're not really doing much not going out a lot it's just like yeah just working from home working, it's, man. I yeah. think it's the uncertain from- it's the uncertainty for me that that, that gets to me the most yeah because ultimately it's like okay like right now <clears throat> if they were to say um all right you, you're gonna have two months of lockdown yeah but then it will be you know you can travel after that etc etc then i'd be like okay i'm just gonna try and make the best of the two months and then we're good yeah whereas now it's like okay you're like right now it's okay you're gonna be in tier four until end of december but there's this like uncertainty about will it continue into january yeah that's your problem that? big yeah you're right there. so i have nothing to look forward to because i don't know when it's ending yeah like we can't even make plans yeah yeah and like, it's other things like for example george started um george was coming over here once every other week or so to film yeah. stuff like tiktoks etc etc mm, this is yeah back when you know we were allowed and then it was suddenly a lockdown and it's like okay well now he can't and it's yeah, like, and then okay, it's like we can't it's... even arrange it again because it's like, when can now we? Now we're in another lockdown again. Yeah, so it's like we can't even plan ahead to be like, okay, let's next week or like in January start. We're gonna do it again because we we really don't know like what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, so like, that, that's the, just there's like... no transparency 
the fact that fully it's what's going to happen. The fact that it's not easy to look ahead to anything. That's what that's what I think gets everyone down. Because if you were literally just like, okay, I know, I know we're going to have two months of just awfulness. At least yeah. you know at that point, cool. Yeah. Fine yeah. after that. But in saying that, I do want to shout out all the content creators that have been creating content over this period and, you know, keeping everyone sane in some sense. I feel like a lot of people have been coping with their, like, being alone and the stress by watching a lot of content. Yeah. Watching Twitch and stuff. Yeah, and, the amount of streams. You know, keeping a lot of people together during these times. So, yeah, shout out. Yeah, shout out to them all. It's not, it's, it's not easy as well. Like, I say, I say first-hand as well, um, but I know that there are people probably who are, it's, it's, it's affecting even more. So, shout out to everyone, like, streaming and creating content. Because, as we all know, it's not easy. Like, especially you're there streaming, you know, yeah. trying to be, like, positive, trying to be, like, someone that people can... Be inspired yeah, like by. it affects us deep down. Well, you're course, like, but fuck, man. Like, I'm just, I look, you, you, like Simon says, like you're, you're filming. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's like, okay, I'm filming, working hard, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then at Christmas, or there'll mm-hmm. be this like light at the end of the tunnel where I'm finally going to have like a week to spare with your family and stuff. That's what you're working towards. You get there and then it's like, okay, that's not happening now. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you're going to continue well, again. It's like, that's literally every Christmas I do this thing of, I set my days, I'm going to go home. So it'll yeah. be like the 23rd to the 27th. That's what it'll be. Yeah. And then, I will spend December slowly getting ahead and then like I'll have this last push where it's like, you know, the 18th to 23rd where I get all my videos ready. I'll have thumbnails yeah. made. I'll have yeah. them all uploaded. They're Scheduled. all titled thumbnails so I can go home and I have nothing to do. Yep, love that. Like I, have no, I don't have to look at work. And then obviously like this, they announce, oh yeah, you, you can't go <laughs> home. Yeah. And my motivation to get ahead, like I actually only needed to record what one or two videos left or something i have one or two videos yeah. left for that period and I, I haven't done anything for like the last two three days because i just i don't have the motivation because i'm i'm thinking yeah. well, I'm, i can't even go home what's so. the point yeah why should i do this yeah same man. yeah yeah so it, yeah it's just a it's, it's just that motivation just completely goes and that's where you slowly become in, you get into like this slump yeah i, I mean I've, I've been i've been in that slump for like two weeks now and I was hoping that by going home, like get, getting ahead a little bit to go home will, you know, then be inspired by like you're watching TV with your dad or, or film or whatever and you're just seeing people. Then you come back January, it's like, right, now, we, now I've got, you know, the strength again to continue, the motivation to continue and we'll keep going for a little bit more. But then now it's like, well, if I can't do that, what's the point anyway? So it's just like even more of a slump, man. So it just sucks. Um, so shout out to everyone listening as well. Shout out to everyone who obviously has been affected by this and just COVID in general. It does suck, but uh, I guess we just got to keep fighting through it really. Um, yeah. Well, George, you've been it's streaming shit. quite a lot during this yeah. period, haven't you? Yeah. How are you, how are you finding day. that? Do you find it a struggle some days to, to stream? Yeah, I was going to say this, this year I really felt my first, like, well, not my first, but my first big, like, I don't know if I want to say breakdown or yeah. whatever, but I really felt burnt. Yeah. Like, like I mean, you that managed I didn't... to, like, this month, so far in December, you've already done... 70 hours. That's sick. Yeah, I think I've done like 80 or 90 to be fair. If I check it right. Or is it 70? You're at 70, well, 70 so month far month. this month. Like yeah. in December. You did like 75, 80 last month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always try to do that. But I did feel like maybe a couple months back where I just was burnt. Like I didn't know what was wrong. I was just not feeling it. Yeah. Like, I just kept coming on. To, like, it was so hard. Sometimes it gets to the point where it's, like, so hard for you to just press start. Yeah, so hard. It can be really tough, And man. stream. Yeah. It's just that moment. Like, it's like, I think when you're streaming, like, people, ex- well, people don't expect you to, but you expect people, you think that people expect you to be, like, jolly, happy, you know, and just, like, yeah. in the mood. And if you're, yeah. not, if you're not in the mood, yeah, you have to fake. You have to fake it, you know. So like, not fake. One hundred percent. You have to put on a sh- not a show, but it's it kind of like becomes be- ten yeah. times more tiring. Because yes. You yeah. as the streamer, the energy you put off is the energy that everyone else is going to receive. That kind of sets the mood yeah. for everyone else. So if you come on a bit sad, everyone in the chat gets a bit upset. They keep asking you what's wrong. Oh yeah, and yeah that yeah. kind of just sure, yeah. that sure. that that doesn't help your state. But I think sometimes it helps. Like, I think I think Talia is pretty good at, good at this as well. From what I've seen, like I feel like if you let the audience know that you're not in a good mood or something, and you are like a bit down, then people who are related yeah. to that as well can like be there with you, right? So it's like some people expect yeah. it, but, but then it's still it's hard for you to admit that, and it's hard for you to actually be like, right, 
let's let's own up to it, over. Um, so yeah, oft- oftentimes you, you don't, don't, don't want to press live, and you like you're there. Thanks for the sub, man. Thanks yeah. for five months, and in, inside you're like, yeah, bro, I just, just want to go and like lie Dying. down. But <laughs> even though I felt like, even though I felt like, I would. Like I always want to stream. It's fun for me. It's not a chore. Yeah. Like that's not what I'm saying. It's not a chore to do it. But it's just like sometimes you know your mental is just not feeling it, or sometimes you just feel like oh you lose your sense of direction, or you feel like you're not doing enough. But you what you are. But it's just like you're just telling yourself you're not like just because whatever f- mind frame you're in, you know. Yeah. And at a point, I just didn't know what to do with streaming i was just like i was confused yeah you know what i mean yeah. i haven't said to simon at a point like i'm just a bit like i i don't know where i don't know where i am right now with this well that's why i remember you said you, know you were kind of like yeah i'm not going to stream like anywhere near as much anymore yeah that's what and i said i said that to you and i was like sometimes it's good to just like you know speak to people mm. um so i spoke to simon and he was just like and we had a little chat and he was like yeah, and he made me just like boosted me up a little bit more, if you know what I mean. That's so it, like yeah. put me in like good spirits to be like, oh yeah, like this is what you should do. Don't worry, like you're doing you're doing the right things because sometimes you just maybe you just need someone to also tell you that sometimes that like, you are well, that's you know, what, doing the right thing. That's what I think you would get if you were able to go out and see people, but obviously yeah. you're sat indoors because you can't. And then yeah. you don't get that like reassurance anywhere else. You you rely entirely on online, which if you spend your time online, you're going to see 10 times more negative comments than positive. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Even yeah, if you, always well, then. you see more positive, but you don't take them in. Yeah. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Which is, which like, is dumb, yeah, but it's, like, it's like, just the way it is. <laughs> yeah. Like you could literally get a hundred saying like this video's jokes, but one goes like, oh, you're so boring. That one hits you. Yeah, man. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's it's a case of it's now and that you're think, forced to stay inside and living online, that's all you see. Yeah, it's like, just get me out of these trolls, man. Because yeah. one thing I definitely want to do as soon as... That's the thing, I, I keep planning for when this is, like, loosened, the restrictions are loosened, but I don't want to plan for it, and then they come... <laughs> then we have to go back into it. Yeah. Like, I want to, you know, for example... Um, me and Jaws, as I said, were doing TikToks. Yeah, yeah. And we were yeah. posting one every like other day at that point. So yeah, I'd love to get that back on track and do like better than we were. But yeah, I don't want to start it and then a week and, and a half and later stop, they just and go, stop again. Way. Yeah, yeah, because it's just a bit. It's just yeah. So it's, it's a bit crazy. It's all. It's all kind it's all of tits shit. up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, man. But I mean, what do we have for to look forward to next year? Do we have know. anything? <laughs> do we have anything to look forward to next year? Yeah. Have you guys got that, any? That's like, what, that's what I, I've been saying a bit in the podcast recently. That... Yeah, I don't want to be like the guy, the, the the humbug or the bringer of bad news, but I don't want people to be in. I don't want people to get in the mindset of like twenty twenty one is going to be insane. Yeah, like yeah, be, getting, be like, prepared. Ex- try whatever you can do to like be prepared that. to like for it not to be with with. with yeah, plus, I'm, not, I'm not saying try and be, be sad. I'm just like don't expect it to be. Don't be pessimistic. Just yeah. don't don't get your hopes too high that you are going to be optimistic. Hate yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So try and, and use that to try and find ways to like prepare for it. You know. So maybe yeah. Like I know a lot of the, the group chat as well is like oh I can't wait for next year for festivals and like shows and that. I'm like be prepared for that not to happen. Like obviously yeah. still hope for mm-hmm. it. But then what's the plan B? Like so now it's like all, all doom and gloom. We can't see each other at Christmas, but. What's yeah. maybe what what can you do like to get a new habit? You know, maybe go for walks, runs, drink better, whatever you can do to kind of try to make the best out of a shit situation. Have like a plan plan B yeah. or but that that's just, that should be a plan A anyway. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I just I don't I, I just well, always get weary of people saying like oh 2021 and I'm like oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the annoying thing yeah. is like we had um so we have our like side men calendar yeah and we planned all the way until the end of March. Like we have our videos planned Ooh. all the way to the end of March. Yeah. Okay. Um, but now because of this tier four, we're literally having to rethink the first like five videos that we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they're all. Yeah, and we literally because the whole thing was we were we said videos. this year was good, but we wanted to make it. It it could have been ten times better if COVID wasn't a thing. Yeah. So we course. wanted to make twenty twenty one that, and we were like, okay, we're going to start off and you know just. Just do bangers, yeah. and then that's already out the out the window. Like, and the thing is, I think a lot of people are also waiting 
for 2021 to come to be like, yeah, clean slate. Woo! Push 2020 uh, out the window. And it's like, mm. yeah. Yeah. We're entering, we're, we're entering on the same terms. Do you know what I mean? Things should not be relaxed on New Year's. <laughs> that's that's what Bo just said. The well, the thing is, thing is also gonna suck as well, isn't it? Yeah. Also, <laughs> those who are listening right now, apparently, right now, or, or he's been doing an announcement. Um, so things might have changed by the time <laughs> again by the time this goes out, we don't even know. But wait, what? As in, like right now? Well, I got a notification on my phone. Us. Like, um, yeah. So did you watch live Boris Johnson to hold news briefing after emergency COVID meeting? That was thirty minutes ago. So for like oh, again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's doing one right now. He's literally right now. I he's can't talking. Be yeah. Bothered. I don't. Know, I don't know what he's saying, but guys. be prepared, guys, for yeah. Christmas to be back on, or be prepared for Christmas to be cancelled, or be prepared <laughs> for January to be Imagine deleted. If that actually happened. <laughs> Imagine if that I actually can't. happened right now. He just went. Uh, the uh, COVID uh, virus has now disappeared completely. Um, <laughs> Imagine. You, oh, by the way, you can all. Oh, I feel, go home. Do you know what, guys? <laughs> I, I feel like. Impression. I feel like there's not a lot of positive things though. Like I'm trying to think of like what. What's the positives right now? Well, for next year. Just now in general, that came out this year to boost people's spirits. The Christmas spirit. What what positives? Did we have? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, like, uh, I am. I'm a very pessimistic person. Yeah. So mm. for me right yep. now, it's it's like I'm, I'm just trying to just chug along. That's yeah, it. yeah. I'm just gonna try and carry on, carry on, and eventually it'll it'll all blow over. I know yeah. that's a terrible way of thinking, but I feel like I some people are going through you know highs and lows. I'm just staying yeah. on that that middle level right now. Yeah. Just hang on to that boat, guys, even if it's rocking hard. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe we should move on and stop talking. Yeah, about, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like happy stuff. Can we sing Christmas carols? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get DMCA. But I also like, think well, one, one last thing to say. I think I reckon it's it's okay as well to actually like feel bad. Like this is oh, yeah, unique, yeah, yeah, this is unique to us, right? We've never, we, we we in our generation have never had this. Obviously, in the past, like there's been more hard. Well, there's been hardships like this as well. Uh, well, with the with the not exactly like this, but with the war, other diseases in the, in the past as well. But for us in our, in our, our generation, like all three of us, I think this is the biggest like thing we've ever seen in our life. So mm-hmm. I think it's okay to yeah. be like, like, for example, when I, I took a bit of a break off uploading, like it's okay to do that. Like it's okay to feel upset. It's okay to like, of course, be pessimistic and be upset because yeah. it's yeah, natural. Like, I think yep. pretending, I think pretending and making and trying to like avoid that is the worst thing you can do about it. So yeah, just so yeah. everyone listening as well, just, it's okay to be like upset. Like, it's, it's oh yeah, you have to just let it like, definitely. you have to let how you actually feel out. Yeah. yeah. You realize there's a lot of other people that feel exactly the same way as you do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, for even sure. though they, even they, they might not show it a lot. If you just openly say how you feel, you realize there's a lot of people who can relate with you and be like, you know what? I actually felt this way or I, feel this way right now you you know what i mean yeah so yeah, for sure. yeah however you feel you are okay to feel that way yeah um but yeah i agree well now to the christmas carols <laughs> 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 all right now before we continue uh we want to tell you about our other sponsor warby parker who <laughs> were founded with a rebellious spirit and a lofty goal to create boutique quality eyewear at a revolutionary price point offering eyeglasses sunglasses contact lenses and eye exams Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision, care online, and in stores. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional, exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. Got it. Yeah, the glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses, and are also available. So if you guys go to the website right now, you can do like a little quiz. It asks you like uh, pretty simple questions, like your face size. Mine was very right, round and wide. <laughs> uh, but then you pick like different styles and colors that you like, and then it'll give you a bunch of five frames you can try for free. So we haven't got them right now, but we are in the process of getting them. And then hopefully next time we do one of these um, sponsors, we can then tell you about them and show you what we've got, okay? You guys can try Warby Parker's free home try-on program where you order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free. For five days, there's no obligation to buy. Ships free and it includes a prepaid return shipping label. So you guys can try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash what's good. And if you guys go to the link in the description, 
warbyparker.com slash what's good. You can try five pairs of glasses for home at home for free. Check them out, guys. And uh, yeah, moving on. Did you hear that Eminem has dropped an album out of nowhere, George? I don't know if you... What? Yeah. No, wait. I heard that Eminem sent for Lil Wayne. Did he send for Lil Wayne? Apparently, That's yeah, what I apparently heard. he sent a few shots on the album. Yeah, I, I've got to admit, I've not delved into the entire album as much right now. I've not read, read the lyrics and stuff, but... Uh, I, I did like I did kind of like listen to a bit like when I was like brushing my teeth and stuff and getting ready and stuff. So yeah, uh, he dropped a brand new album, which is a, it's, the, it's like the B side, right? Part two of the um, yeah. music, music to be murdered, to be murdered by, by album, yeah, like the B side type thing. And um, I have to say, there's one song that proper stood out to me. It's the one with D- Dr. Dre on it. I'm not sure if you heard that one yet. I knew it would be. Yeah, it's I knew fire. it would be. It's so good, man. Like I, just look, I love Dre, man. Dre's so sick, and the beat is fire as well. Um, also, did quick one about Lil Wayne. Did you hear he sold his Oh my God! What are they called? Masters. What you have? His masters for hundred million. Oh my God! Wow. Oh, I did. I did hear this actually because JJ brought it up, didn't he? He said like, I wonder if in the future people will sell their YouTube black catalog. Yeah, but ooh, ooh. It's interesting, right? I'm gonna pee really quick. But yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. So, that that is a very good. Because very similar thing, um, right? Obviously, like YouTube is YouTube is now very similar fully thing. become a mainstay in like entertainment right so yeah, back in the yeah, day yeah, yeah, you'd, yeah. you'd know you look up to your rappers your, your singers and stuff whereas now like like yeah. ksi or pewdiepie or whatever are literally you know people who everyone looks up, look up to and, and they are literally still be gaining yeah, revenue so, as you say man like one day you yes. know, jj's like ten thousand videos he's made that earn x amount of money per week per month or whatever yeah 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 because they're some always gonna like, be buy it, yeah. money regardless yeah a hundred percent i could definitely see that happening but um as for Lil wayne selling his royalties i have no idea why you would do that because most artists not his royalty sorry his masters, masters yeah because most artists are fighting to get their masters True. back right yeah so they have full ownership well yeah so own, ownership is something that i always it? promote like, i always say where possible like make sure you own your masters own everything you create you know your youtube your twitch make sure you're in control of it uh yeah definitely sell yeah. like branding definitely sell like promotional but make sure you're in the driving seat because Mm-hmm. I think creativity and you don't our, want like, someone else owning is your stuff. We, yeah, because yeah. All right, that's when things get I'm back. sticky for sure, man. If you don't, if you don't own back. your create creativity, then like it's like you've lost part of your soul in it. <laughs> so it's kind of fucked. Well, there is a company 100%. that have already offered loads of people um, amounts Ooh. for their back catalog of uh, YouTube? YouTube videos. Yeah, but wasn't someone saying it was stinky though? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of money in it. But I guess just, I yeah, think, but why would you? Why would you want thing, to do it? What, what was that? Like, why would you want to do it right now? Anyway, they, like, they are offering quite a bit of money, but okay. The thing, one thing for me personally would always be, like, for example, <laughs> say I've used a certain I don't know video. Say I've made a video and then Randolph's reacted to it. Yeah, if they then then yeah. earn if they then own the original. Are yeah. they going to start going around and true, you know, and copywriting DMCA? Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I've spoken to a lot of labels in the past, or people who want to like work with me musically and stuff. And the way it always like falls down is that I'm like, oh, just so you know, you can't claim anything. Like, don't claim any like Twitch or don't claim anything. And that's that's where the money is. That's that's what that's what they want to they want to do because they know yeah. they know the value of like of that. They know the value of what that is. And it's like they want that's what that's why they want it. That's what they want to control that in where wherever possible, and they want to maximize like the commercial aspect. Uh, but obviously, that's always and like you a never big know no, where right? You might be. Yeah. You never know where you might just see a clip of you. Yeah. You might yeah. just randomly yeah. see a clip of you like promoting some something advert, that you didn't like, actually Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> promoting, um, God knows what. Like Viagra or something. Because you Wout said show like or something. <laughs> you said, like, oh, get it up. And yeah. they just use that for a Viagra. Right? Exactly. They got full control. <laughs> that's why like, ownership is so important as well because, like, I, f- I feel like any brand partnerships as well that are authentic, always do the best, right? Like, always. And I, and you work with brands before that make you like jump through hoops to do something. And it's like, they're literally killing the performance of this video or this tweet or this Instagram story or whatever yeah. by doing this much stuff. And I know you have to do, you have to have some like guidelines to make sure that it's legit and make sure that people know that you're promoting an ad. But I think the best promotions are always the one that, that's natural. So like, I feel like you have to own your, yeah, it's your work that so that when you are going to do promotions, it's going to be more effective anyway. So I feel like it's always try and own your, your, your creations, you know? Hundred percent. So you're just you, yeah. and not yeah someone else's. But I wonder with Little Wayne though, maybe he's he might have been in financial trouble, or maybe he just doesn't care about his work anymore. And he's like, you know what, I'm gonna get the bag for something I don't care about anymore. <laughs> I don't know the full story, but yeah, 
I guess. Yeah, but I've Eminem. Found the out of nowhere. I've just found a list of Eminem, like the mentions that he has on this album. Is the bear? As in, okay. yeah. People who said it's it more to Machine Gun Kelly, right? The that... Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find the ones. I think these these ones are only like actual mentions. Okay. Um, there's one at Machine Gun Kelly that's listed yeah. here. She thinks Machine washed me. I swear to God, man, her favorite rapper wish he'd crossed me. Oh damn! So, yeah. Um, six nine, right? I think he, I think he says something like um, six nine says she says I'm trash, but she listens to Takashi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. He took that well, by the way. He did a Drake. video, an Instagram video, where he like uh, is is I think he's like freestyling or, ra- or rapping along to uh, "Lose Yourself" instrumental, and it's just trash. But he like he's like laughing and like say, knowing it's trash, you know. I mean, anything about Six Nine is like he will turn around into yeah, publicity. Neither. It's publicity yeah. for him. Yeah, so it's, like, it's good for him. Yeah. yeah. The Drake okay, one was crazy. like, um, I've seen Sending the hugest debuts. Drake? Well, no, it's not. It's just I've seen the hugest debuts. I've had a great view to view the game through. And Drake, they're gonna turn on you one day too. Damn. Oh come so on. It's not actually. It's not actually anything bad at Drake. It's just saying Drizzy. like you're sick. But the greatest day, artist of yeah, this whole era. Well, he says it chance as well. He says they calling you a trash bin, saying that your new one isn't better than your last, even if it is. Once they start to turn their backs, even if it ain't ever coming back in, they did it to chance. Yeah, I hate that. That happens so often in music. It's like people always hate on someone's new work, you know, uh, when really yeah, what they like about the original work is the songs, it's, uh, is the music itself. Yeah, but also it's the memory attached to that time in their life, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate yeah. that always. That, like, like for, even for Simon as well, like people may, people used to love the old Simon videos, for example, but they also loved the, the time that they had watching that, you know, whether yeah. they were in school or they're here, yeah. there, you know. So even though you guys have had oh, to mature and change your life as well, which reflects on the content, yeah, exactly. they have too, but they want that old mm-hmm. feeling still. <laughs> people need to realize people grow, yeah, you know, and people people change. Like your your content change, your your art style, your, mm-hmm. your interests, your music, man. It's like, going to change. Like, yeah, exactly. Like everything can't always stay the same. You know what I mean? So like the same with music. It's like you evolve as a person. You start to bring new life experiences into music and yeah. like your output just just changes like that's what artists do with albums anyway yeah. i think it's like every Thematic, art, right? Each every album like is kind of like moment a, yeah of exactly it's a different yeah it's a different theme to it a different part in their life well, do you and th- I, I like it to be fair do you think that him dropping this album because i didn't see any like advertisements anyway i literally just came out none. and suddenly everyone was like yeah i, I yeah, heard I, it this, I, you're gone. I didn't even know I was going to say, do you think that's a good idea? Because I know we've spoken about it before because I think Beyonce did it, right? Yeah. And it's mm. it's one of those things where Beyonce can do it because she's that famous. And I know Eminem yeah. is that famous, but this is effectively, but you know, his last album came out this year as well, right? Yeah. And this is just, this is called Music To Be Murdered By B-Side. Mm. It's not really an, an album. It's, an not, it's yeah. not the same way Beyonce would just go like, boom, album, done. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. I think this for Eminem, feels like a mixtape. Yeah, for, 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 some for, artists can do it, right? Sorry, go on. I was going to say some artists can do it. Maybe he doesn't care about selling that much as well. True. But, well, I think I think he doesn't like, care, but also he knows he will. Like, he has it. such a huge like diehard fan base that he knows whatever he puts out will be. It'll at least do well in terms of like yeah. it might not be as critically yeah. acclaimed, but it will do well. And I think he's at a point now where he's had so much drama with like the critics and so much back and forth with them that he just doesn't care now and just you know. And then the album, like Music to Be Murdered by, it's just like a very Eminem theme, right? So I think he's just putting music out. But I know for a fact, artists like Eminem and him himself, I know he's in the studio every single day just because for the love of writing and the love of music. So it's not hard for him to put the material out because he has it. If you know what I mean? Like a lot of artists will go through like a, a yearly, you know, schedule of like touring, producing an album, making it bigger, better, you know, with a label. Whereas I know for him, for him, he'll just, he'll have beats sent to him every single day. He'll have an engineer in his house. He'll have a student in his house and he'll just keep working and working and working. I even, I think I heard a, a quote from him as well, where he says that like, he literally goes to work. You know, he get, when he makes, makes music, he goes to work. So he'll wake up at eight o'clock, go into the studio and he'll clock out. Yeah. Uh, I think I heard someone say that literally working with him and they had like a sick verse idea, but then like it hit six o'clock and Eminem was like, yeah, I'm leaving now. And the guy was like, wait, do you, do you not want to just put my verse down? He's like, no, nah, work's over. <laughs> and he goes and like sees his daughter or does whatever he wants to do. And then ne- next day he comes back at it, which I respect that, you know, routine is something that can help you a lot. 100% shift work. <laughs> I, just, I, good, I mean, I've, I've heard 
the album once through and I've listened to the first like five, six songs multiple times. Yeah. It's just like, I feel like he's really trying to, you know me, I'm one of the biggest Eminem fanboys yeah. ever, but it just sounds like he's really trying to prove his rapping abilities instead of trying to make songs is the only thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I was, I was like listening to it and I was waiting for a song that I'm going to be like, Oh, this is, this is, I love this, which I did find with the Dr. Dre song. But yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the songs are just beats and him just like going crazy with this like lyrical ability, <laughs> which is good. Like I think, yeah. I think that's what he enjoys. Right. I think you, you got to remember like at this point here, he's just yeah, for sure, yeah, for achieved sure. so much. You might just think like, you know what? I enjoy writing and proving I'm the best. I'm going to just keep doing that. <laughs> I wonder if he ever thinks though, with one of these songs, he thinks like, Oh, this is gonna be, you know, a a stan, a lose yourself. Uh, okay, yeah. You know, like oh. those massive songs. Because stan. Ooh. I mean, ultimately, like lose yourself. Obviously, with the 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 movie as well. Even if the movie yeah. didn't do as amazingly, okay. it helped yeah. a lot. Whereas stan is literally just like that song is just insane. Yeah, but I love it. I don't know if it's just because of the time. Yeah, like is it, if that song came out now, would people kind of be like, "I am and M's just he's just rapping again"? <laughs> like, well, it's, yeah, it's like the, I think it's like the enigma as well because when he first came out, he it was like a sensation, right? Like as in he turned head, so it was like he broke like yeah. broke the status quo ever in terms of rap and music, and you know, and then everyone's like looking at him like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god!" Whereas now, people release so much music, it's hard to stand out, isn't it? Like it's really hard to like stand out, um, and I think the only way you can stand out now, to be honest, is if you if you have the label behind you or the power, unless you're incredibly creative, creative, and we have seen a few artists like that, Kanye being one, you know, where he always kind of like breaks the boundary and turns head. It's so hard to do that now. Um, and I think especially for someone like Eminem, who is such a household name now, it's like, how do you really have that effect? And I think it had it last, yeah. what, what, what was the song um, on, the, on the original album where it was uh, it was about the, the shooting, right? In Vegas. I think it was like a, the, the music, it was like a recreation yeah. of that. Something, something like that is what, does you do you do look at that i'm you know like okay wow that's that's made an impact on so many people i think it's hard it's hard to have that on a surprise album especially unless you don't unless you have the marketing behind it you know we had mm. the um the godzilla one as well yeah with juice oh, world, juice world, world yeah yeah God, one of the greatest artists man legit man so it's so sad man like, i feel like we've lost so many like We've, we've lost so many Great greatest artists. of all time artists, if you know what I'm saying. I think like Pop Smoke as well was, yeah. was about to like blow like massively. And he's actually a very talented person as well, but um, sadly. 100%. Sadly as well. I have a question. Yeah. Do you, how do you guys feel? Because I always question this every day now. How do you guys feel about the music state right now? Like the current state we're in within the music industry, like. As like a consumer, as yeah. Randolph, you're also an artist as well. How do you feel? Because I feel like now we're in an era where people are just making songs left, right and center. Like anyone can make a song now. Yeah. And I feel like it's not as effective as it was maybe say like five years ago when, or like even 10, like there's songs that were made that were timeless. Like yeah. Neo. Yeah. I feel like it's just, you know, it's like, dry now, it's isn't it? Akon Lonely. It's attention spans for me. Yeah. I feel like no yeah. one wants to, you don't want to hear, like, I don't think many people release amazing albums anymore. Firstly, because I, I know there are amazing al a albums. A few, out yeah, there. here and there. But, yeah. I mean, more in terms of, like, people just get bored and move on too quick. So there That's actually isn't as yes. much a point of an album. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I feel like there's so much content. Like, people just keep pushing out, pushing out. It's like, everyone's doing it like it's so oversaturated now yeah it's hard and man it's like, I, think I, I, I struggle to be inspired to as a, I, I don't make much music at the minute but it's in it again i don't i'm not i don't have the desire to like back in the day I, I used to the way i used to create music is i used to i used to listen to an album and i'm like oh my god that's amazing and then that would push me to go and yeah create my own so like i remember jay-z and kanye's album you know watch watch the throne when that came out that was huge yeah. for me and that like inspired yeah. me loads i went to see their show in london uh, came out and I'm, I'm like, oh my god, I want to make my own album, and I did. I made my my own album Shit, straight after listening to the album, um, or like a mixtape or whatever. So I always used to be inspired. Whereas nowadays, because the culture of music has changed, and, you know, back in the day you would have like a nine month promotional con run through, right? Concept of what you're gonna do for an album. Yeah. Whereas, because because you have to get it printed, you have to get it approved, you have to get it like prepared. Whereas now, because the time it takes to get your music out there and distribute it with people is so small. 
that you can literally just Souls. make it. You, you can make an album yesterday and put it out today if you wanted to. That's possible. 100%, and also yeah. the other side yeah. of it with, with Spotify and stuff is because you you have to earn your place now on Spotify on the playlist and stuff. I feel like you have to really. It's, it's actually sad. I feel like online SoundCloud, Spotify gave an opportunity or present an opportunity for people to get so creative. And there are people out there that are creative, but now because of playlists and because labels and A and Rs are controlling these playlists. I feel like you can't yeah. be creative anymore. You have to follow what everyone else is doing to get on these playlists. You have to scratch their back to get on them. So I feel like now it's just, it's, yeah. it's everything's the same, man. It's like, there's nothing, no one's, people are breaking out, but those who are breaking out, you can't, you, you can't find them as easy because it's been controlled again. <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. I feel like a lot of people are, they realize, okay, this is working, this specific style of song. And then everyone does it. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, you get a thousand of these same artists that are releasing songs that sound similar like there's so many songs that i heard and i was like oh is it this artist and then i'm like and someone's like no it's that artist and i'm like oh because they sound exactly the same yeah and that's do why you, you think go on sorry go on i was gonna say do you think that if whatever music is in the chart is like what it basically because you know how the chart is obviously decided on sales and stuff yeah the sales can be manufactured to a point where it's like we can basically push of sales course. of something yeah. do you think that if that was all to switch up labels went all right we're gonna push this now do you think people would just like whatever's there um or do you think it is actually a case of like pop music is actually pop music i think a bit of both pop now music. i think that you do have i think yeah. because of spotify and because you know now it's now music is so easily accessible i feel like you do see you do see songs in the charts that are actually popular and are actually trending because, you know, three million people have decided that they, they like that song. I, I think we've heard a few of it, you know, like Lemonade, the Internet Money track and um, a few a few songs. Yeah. I think I feel like you do see some songs that do like get pushed to the top because of their interest. But I do also think you do have songs that are manufactured and are falsely at the top of the charts. So I think it's a bit of both. And I think we've seen a lot yeah. of people combine those two things, which seems to have the greatest success. But I don't know. What do you think? I, I feel so. like there are a lot of like manufactured music artists still, but there's still there also yes. is at the same time a lot of re real realness. I feel like TikTok. Yeah, maybe that's the, yeah, maybe that's yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I feel like TikTok pushes so many songs. Like you just you you know when you have like a trend and that song's on a trend, you might have never heard of this song before, but next thing you know, the song's like number one. Or like it's in the top ten because TikTok has pushed it so much because so many people have well, I guess listen to this song. A like, good example is like Lil Nas X, right? Like that song was he was he was respectfully he was like a no one, and that song was nothing. He he just bought the the, the instrumental like a lease for like twenty five dollars type thing, made a song. He got yeah. big on TikTok, and then the label took it and blew it up, and then they signed him, and now he's, he's now like a really good artist in the world. But that's another yeah. thing. Whereas, like the reason why I say the attention span mm. is because I reckon like there's so many songs out there like. Um, is so it what you know about love? You know the pop smoke. Is it pop smoke one? one yeah, like, yeah. What you know about love? About yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like that, banging on TikTok. That part of the song. Yeah. I reckon That's everyone good. knows that part. Mm -hmm. but of course. I you genuinely don't, they know, don't know the rest of the song. Of the song. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And Honestly. it's because people just hear it on stuff like something like TikTok and then they'll go listen mm -hmm. to the song to have that one the bit. Snippets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as I soon agree. As that bit's gone. Skip next song. <laughs> yeah. Skip. Yeah. Skip. Yeah, the music industry is really weird right to, now. It used to be like two and a half, three minute songs, didn't it? Like mm -hmm. ages ago. And then mm -hmm. they started yeah. getting longer and longer. And it was like, oh, your song needs to be three to four minutes. Yeah. But now it's going back. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's going back to the lit. People actually make songs just for trends. You know, that, like yeah. just for well, like, Lil memes. Nas said the reason just why his trends. song was... Lil Nas said something about his song. He makes like two minute songs or something. And he was like, yeah, yeah. If you, the shorter it is as well, the more people like... You'll listen well, to it for two minutes and you'll go, oh, that was it? All right, that's I'm playing sure. it again. Yeah, yeah that's it's true. Been exactly. Two listens instead of like... 100%. It's just got so much more replayability. Yeah. That's crazy, man. You know what? It doesn't have replayability. Oh, God. No, I know. Cyberpunk. Yes. It's not on PlayStation anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if in the future right, people yes. are going to be like, I was there. I, I, was, I was one of the lucky few to be actually, actually play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking so forward to Cyberpunk. Like, I, it was the only thing I was talking about because I was like, oh, the gaming industry right now is in a sticky situation. Like, 
for me, I feel like as a gamer, as a streamer, there's not a lot of stuff for me to play. No. Cyberpunk was one of the things I was looking forward to so much. And then I saw that you need like a 1650 Ti minimum <laughs> to play it. And I'm like, oh, I'm still on the 1080. Is this going to bring my PC? So I thought, okay, maybe I'll get a new PC and stuff. And, you know, and I got saved by the bell by Cyberpunk actually not even working. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't play it, no so one can. As well. It's so sad as well because you just said you have a 1080. Yeah, like that's good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you can't play it's it. Like, like, yeah, that's so like, mad. Well, for those who don't know what we're talking about, on... first and foremost, for this clear, like, obviously, Cyberpunk is getting refunded by everyone because it's the, the quality and the, the bugs is not up to scratch. Um, so PlayStation yeah. have, on if, consoles, on, on consoles as well. Yeah, so because of that. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation have been t- well. I imagine they've been so tired of refunding everyone so much that they've now <laughs> refunded everyone, but also just taken it off the store completely. Which I think we think for like a triple A game, I don't think that's ever been done before. Where they've pulled it from the store, so oh. you cannot buy it on PS anymore. So that's what we're talking about, just to give some preference to it. But um, that is so I, mad, you know? Yeah, insane. I feel like for them really to actually bad. have that that big a mistake to take it off the store. Uh, this, yeah, in, in this caliber, right? Like this this size of a game. It's like one of the biggest games of all, all time, really, like in terms of the, the lead up. <laughs> at a time when everyone is stuck at home. Yep. Oh, on looking the, forward on a brand to it. New console. Oh, come on, dude. This game was in the making for like eight years. Yeah. Look, it was meant to come out last year, even the year before. It got delayed. It got delayed. And it got delayed earlier this year as well, remember? Yeah. And finally, they're like, December. And everyone was like, yeah, Cyberpunk, finally. And now it's like... Because I actually haven't gone. played it yet. But from yeah, what yeah. I've watched, it looks re- it looks good. Mm. Yeah. From the ones really I've been able to watch. Yeah. yeah. But I know a lot but of people have like tried streaming it and have not been able they're to. They're going to take even, such Even that's another issue, this. right? Like the licensing, the copyright, you know. <laughs> I know XQC couldn't no, play there it. there is... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because of well, music he, in the background yeah, of the game? Yeah, so like they have, in the game, they have no, an there's, option. There's... Um, yeah, they have the option to turn it off. Yeah, but some songs yeah, were still getting people claimed and taken down. Really? Yeah, yeah that's so XQC, uh, oh, one gosh. of the biggest streamers in the world, was playing it and he had to turn his stream off and he had to go and raid someone else because he couldn't play it. He was, he was fuming. There's a clip of him like raging. <laughs> Mad. How I'm sure he turned it off that, though? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, well, I know, and I'm not sure about his situation, but I know that there are a lot of other people that it was, it was, it was proven that uh, you know even with yeah. the copyright option it's turned on, some songs were still flipping through the gaps. And again, that's just a different story has just to do with the copyright law and the YouTube monetization stuff. But uh, yeah, no, definitely people were getting stru- stru- stuck on that. Damn. I'm really upset about all of that stuff as well. Like the DMCA's. Oh, uh, yeah. Twitch. Like not- it's just, I think the, the gaming industry is in such a war with like the creative side of it and then like the yeah. briefcase side of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a nice way to put it. The briefcase side of it. I feel like I Twitch definitely took a dip when the DMCA strike started, like, becoming definitely. serious. Yeah, yeah. Because even, even scared, starting right? up a stream. Yeah, and even starting up a stream thinking, like, I like the songs I'm going to listen to, but I've heard them every day for the last two months. Yeah. Like, oh, well, that's like so what we were saying before. Awesome. Like, to stream, you have to be, like, you have to be in a good mood, you know? You have to enjoy it as well. If you're, if you're like... If you, so if, if you want an audience to watch you and they want to hang out and you want to have like a space where you're playing games, they're watching the game you're playing, you're listening mm-hmm. to music, they listen to music. If you have to now like listen to music that you don't like, that the audience don't like, <laughs> just to get by, it just seems wrong, right? Yeah. 100%. It's, it's like the playlist I listen to, like loads of your stuff's on it, Randolph. And it's yeah. like, I like it, but it's tiring, to listen man. to it that for much, five yeah. hours every day. Yeah, like I, I load up oh, Josh's stream like, and I hear my song again. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sick. Of, I mean, I, I get sick of my music anyway. It's <laughs> worse for me, but I'm like, again. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, thanks, yeah, for, thanks like, for the play, oh, but still, damn. like, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, I, like, I got to make I, some news to free. That's that's the problem. That's the real problem. Yeah, it's crazy, man. And have you guys heard with Twitch recently? Um, what? What the words they banned? <laughs> yeah, the words they banned. <laughs> Oh, the words they've banned. Oh, like simp and that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. They've banned simp, yeah. virgin, and incel. And what? Incel. I think incel. it's like a, it's like a similar word to the two before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I think it's a combination. I think it's like, I think uh, incel means a person who is a virgin because of involuntary <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, but did you see that they Something also like they, they finally now like banned the n word? Like, you can't type the n word in Twitch anymore, and everyone was saying like, "How's it taken you?" Like, 
this long to do to ban that word like globally on the side yeah, 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 but then yeah, like weeks yeah. but then a week before you're now actually banning the word simp <laughs> they banned the word I mean? simp before the n-word like, the whole. The i is, feel like simp is not like well it's, why, not, being, how it's not being banned fully by the way like it's those if you use it in an aggressive banned. way yeah yeah but all emails are getting but, banned I mean, like all emails that have those in it are getting banned like they're, they're, they're getting, i'm so upset they're i like the little people frog on that holds the simp card like <laughs> What about the um the cod player simp? Yeah, oh. he's fuming, isn't it? Ooh, better yeah. change that name, boy. Because <laughs> if anyone even says like his name, it sounds like you're calling him a simp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face and that simp. sounds like an insult. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love the video, he's man. So the video of him like getting announced at the uh, world championship. It's like now representing simp. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love that clip. <laughs> Oh my days. That yeah. is so funny, man. It's just so annoying that Twitch just, if they can just get a license for music, it's just. That's it. Well, I think, I, I, I think they're working towards, like, I think maybe the reason this is happening is because they're trying to push the Amazon Music, right? Like, if you have Amazon Music widget, you can listen to whatever you want or something like that. But you can't. Can you? Can you, you, can you not? You I, I, know they, I know they were, I, know they, I saw them, like, promoting Amazon Music on the back of this, but I don't know, I don't know exactly what it was. So I haven't used it personally. Mm. Mm. I don't. I'm not sure about that, but I hope. I hope so that they do form some type of agreement. I think streamers should be able to pay a license to be able to use. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just copyright, man. It's, it's like music. I think as much as Twitch would like it, like they just can't, like because of they're, they're, it's, it's they're they're the ones who are going to get targeted, right? As well. So it's like it's just the industry, the music industry is just so toxic. The copyright law is to, toxic. You yeah. can go to jail now in America, can't you, for a DMCA strike? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. how mad is that? You can get That's licenses. Though. I think I think you can buy licenses. By the way, I think um, like for example, on, on Districtly, when I use that, if I if I want to do a cover of someone on YouTube, I can now because I'll just pay them a fee and they'll go and get a license for you. So I think there will be services coming out that all maybe already exist where you can go and buy licenses. But it's like the issue with it is, which I I have I, I have my own music by the way get get uh, claimed on YouTube, but it's the time it takes then to to fight it. Like I I can. You can use a song on Twitch, for example, say, and you can then yeah. prove that you own it, prove you've got the license to it. But after you've been banned, that's the issue. You get banned first, lose your stream, yeah. lose your month's progression, and then you have to fight it. So it's like, okay, in a law of in in in, in the in the court of law or something, you can win. But it's like the steps taken to win is it's just horrible. Yeah, you have to be guilty to prove your innocence yeah, instead yeah. of you know like a claim that you can then like you're you're guilty and. What is it? Guilty until proven until innocent, right? Proven innocent instead of innocent until proven guilty. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So you can pay like you can pay like five grand a year, or probably cheaper than that, like hundred pound a month to get a license to use X amount of songs. But then you still get a DS, DC, DMCK claim. You get banned for two weeks on Twitch until you. And then, and then you're like, actually, guys, I can use this. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use this. You're correct. Sorry about that. You get unbanned, but then you've lost two weeks of progress. You're like, you know, yeah. It's just it's, it's, it's stressful, very stressful. Business yeah. ain't there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so then ain't streamers there. have to like be cautious, you know, and then lose lose a lot of what makes them want to stream. But just like gaming, how it ain't there. Well, I think yeah. Cyberpunk is just a, is a is a gl like a glaring example of things we've seen so much this year. I think like I think you've got on the one hand people in a dying need to play games this year to escape from the real world. Then you've got game companies yeah. who are struggling with like COVID themselves, like staff resources. Etc. Mm -hmm. And trying to make those two things work together is so hard because you've got the creatives who are being told they have to speed up, they have to put the game out even though it's not ready yet to meet release dates. Yeah. But then it's just so hard for them to, to for them both to balance. You know, I think I feel bad for the developers, man, who like clearly loved this Cyberpunk game, clearly had like eight years of their lives put into this, for then it to be rushed by the company. Yeah, you know, the, crumbled. Yeah, absolutely crumbled. Heartbreaking, man. Number four, guys. Bro, every, I feel like every game is just every game's getting to the top and then just the not fall, able the to fall continue. off is too quick. Yeah, the fall off is too quick. But they like, keep, they they all do stuff that I feel like people all see. Like I don't know if you've played the new Fall Guys update season three. No, I didn't even know. They, it was they a introduced thing. like I think they introduced like eight new maps. Wow, and nobody cares anymore. But if they just did that, the first update, I know that's Start, a lot, but yeah. like that would have kept the game live but, then you know custom you lobbies custom like, maps do you feel like streamers like push like 
Dream is not like a big part of like where oh, yeah. the game. Four, gays, four guys would have never got like, to where it was without streaming. They streamers. push it really quick. Yeah. Wasn't Among because Us like is... doing terror? Among Us is like a couple yeah, years exactly. old. And then someone, was it XTC and... streamed it? Yeah. I can't remember who streamed it. Oh, first. yeah. So I don't know who, exactly yeah. That, like, we did four guys, like streamers started playing four guys, four guys blew up. Streamers moved to Among Us, Among Us blew up. And it's like, then you move to another game and then the games behind it drop off. And then they just like, cool. What's the next game? Well, yeah. Well, I played four. I played four guys because of the hype. So I saw everyone streaming it. I saw you know videos were banging as well. Everyone having so much fun. I played it. and I just couldn't get excited about the game. I was trying. I was like, I'm just not enjoying it. Um, but then it was really fun. Yeah, for a bit. Yeah. But then so, Among yeah. Us came along, and whereas like I think Among Us was a game that I actually Killed loved. It. Yeah, I actually was addicted to that game. I found it really fun, and it was doing well. Yeah. So it's like a win-win for us all, really. Um, and and it's like yeah, it's dropping off a little bit now, but I think. That's just natural, right? You can't really have a game that like. But then yeah. they did this. They've done this whole thing of you know, oh, this new map's coming out soon. Oh, and then they said early 2021, which I know is very soon. It could potentially be, you know, it could be in ten days. Yeah, but it could be yeah later as well, right? It could be in early 20. It, it could be two and a half months, three months. Ex- exactly. And so. one map, I don't think is going to change the game. No, but I think I think it's hard because like, the size of that development team must be tiny, right? Like, like like you said, they released a game on Steam like years ago for like three pound. Whereas you know you got teams like Call of Duty yeah, with see, like thousands of employees and still that, shit in the bed. My argument against that though is <laughs> they've had such a blow up that they can afford Get to it, expand. Yeah, yeah. and it's also hard, though, isn't it? they, they literally, hire someone. But they literally said when we were making Among Us Two, we've cancelled that to to work on Among Us One and you know introduce new maps and new stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think one map is gonna save the game. No, it's not. That's, and the fact is, yeah. the fact is gonna be another month or so is definitely not gonna save it. Yeah, because ultimately, like when we play as the troops, yeah, no one wants to even play Polis. No, <laughs> let alone yeah, Mira, no, we don't, we don't, because it's new and they don't understand it. Yeah, everyone wants to play the most so. basic map because they understand it. So you're gonna then release a new map that's people might not even like it. Yeah, yeah, it is quite complicated. Yeah. Like there's two flaws to it, I think, or multiple flaws. Like, we just got to make sure no when, when we play it you know. as the troops, we got to make sure that we we do play it as much as we can, just just so it becomes like something that's known to us. It's just I think you're going to struggle to get that though. We, yeah, for I sure. We they will. just they should have released, you know, they should have released themselves loads of mods to their main map. Yeah, like the the proxy mod, for example, they should have made that. Yeah, they should make you know random other things like. Yeah. Like the zombie game mode and stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah. They're leaving too much to the community. Well, to, allow, well yeah. yeah, allow the community to create, to create that within their platform, though. Like, allow, like. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Yeah, 100%. exactly. So you go to, the, you go to the app store. And thing, then, yeah. you know, they could, they could have made it available to everyone. So it's not a thing of, okay, so how do I get this mod? It's literally an in game purchase thing. Mm-hmm. So you can just go, yeah. Among Us, mods, this one, click, and it installs it. Well, what I will say, Something I think like that. I think out of all the games out there, it. I think the, this company here do have the better opportunity to do more creative things like that because you see like Call of Duty and like Cyberpunk, there's so many people above them, right? That have to like, yeah, that, that have sure. to get approved. Whereas like these seem very, um, with like, yeah, it's, it's just, to the it ground, very community people, based. So, like, if, yeah. And it's, a, it's an easy game in terms of like, I, I don't know much about coding, but it's, it's easy to like develop that than like COD, right? Because there's no 3D models and everything. So I feel like, they can yeah. do more adventurous stuff, and I really hope they do. I really hope they do do stuff like that. I pray, man, but it's just 10. I feel like sometimes 10 people can be a chore. Do you know what I mean? Yes, fine, for sure. That's ten. the only thing as well is, yeah, yeah. if, if one or two people. people lose interest, you then struggle to get 10. Whereas, yeah. yeah. It's a gift in the curse, though, because it's good. play on your own. Yeah. I don't and know. I feel like that game, it has to be played with people who know how to play the game. Do you know what I mean? It's, well, not it's a game all your you level. Just, they have to be yeah. like, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. You can't just get a random person who's like not played as much as you to play the game because it won't, it won't feel the same. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like you couldn't just chuck JJ in a halfway lobby. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple people. That's, that's done out. Yeah, in the in the wrong lobby, just it's crazy. Well, you can. Yeah. I think you can. It, if like it's like halfway, I'm not saying they won't, but if those people allow for a more troll experience, you know, if they go into it thinking right, we're gonna have all of our like, every, I mean. yeah, everything we know is new out the window, yeah. But if they want, if they want like yeah. try hardy and then smell like JJ there, then yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? No. Well, um, someone who has made a business, yeah, that is you know doing well, Mr. Beast. He has smashed it. Oh, I, saw, I let's fly to America next year and try Mr. Beast Burger if we can. <laughs> well, he's. 
how many is he? Oh. He opened like 300 or something or 1,000. He, he opened like 300 and he needs to open more. Yeah. 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 So did you see his video? So the guy's a living I haven't legend. haven't watched it yet. Like, so pretty much, yeah, he, he announces that. So for, for those who don't know what we're talking about right now, he announced that he's opened 300 restaurants in America, all exclusive to delivery apps, which is, first of all, such a smart idea because... Most people now order food in, especially during these times in COVID, right? I've been using like Deliveroo yeah. a lot more, Uber Eats, et cetera. And I've, I've seen like, even on Deliveroo, a lot of restaurants are starting to open now that you can't go to in real life. You can only order, which actually improves them because they don't have to get like a, they don't have to get a restaurant now that don't has have to tables, staff. you know? Yeah. You have to get yeah. certain staff, obviously like chef and that, but you don't have to get yeah, the cookers, excess and you, the excess overheads. No waiters. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, theoretically, my apartment here, if you, if you wanted to like, gear out that kitchen into like something more commercial you could do and you could like literally run a business out of your flat but food on on, 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 yeah. on Uber Eats and stuff. so yeah what he's done is cut out all the extra costs and gone direct to the consumer which is great um, and the way he marketed it is obviously well, well he didn't need to market much right he could just tweet saying I've got burgers and people will order them because it's him but his video was amazing so if you remember like a while ago he actually announced on Twitter or something that he started having like cars block the street and stuff for something that he's doing and it turns out this is his video. He opened a restaurant where the, all the food was free. So he opens a restaurant, like a little like Shake Shack type uh, drive through restaurant. And um, all he does is serve food, but it's all free. So he, he didn't announce it publicly either. He said in the video, he just literally put a billboard up in the area, put signs up and just people started coming because they wanted free food. But also in the video, he's like giving out money, <laughs> obviously, to people. Um, oh, yeah. He says one person, sorry, we, we've run out of burgers, but here's like $100. Um, he was giving away iPods. Uh, sorry, iPads, AirPods, wow. and stuff. Well, iPods, yeah, iPods. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was stuck in the past. He even one one guy's car even broke down, so he went and gave him ten k to like go and get get a new car. Oh, but then man. at the end, the he drops hell? the punchline of like, "Yo, also guys, I've opened three hundred restaurants, and that food obviously is not free. Like that actually is a service. Um, and the yeah. amount of like yeah. money he's about to make for fair, fair play is going to be like ridiculous. <laughs> well, now, Mister Beast is just he's a legend, one of a kind, like. He's crazy. I think his main thing, his generosity as well, is he's just smart, man. Nuts. I think like he. I think I, I wish a lot. Of, I wish brands and I wish other companies looked at him as an example on how to like promote yourself. And um, I know you agree yeah. with a lot, Simon. Like when when Simon gets a brand deal, he'll like spend all the money on like the content and giving it away to people who are in the video or giving it away oh, to fans. Yeah, and I, yeah, I know. <laughs> we, we we knew that yeah, first. Video, first, video, first hopefully. From, Hopefully main channel video out yesterday. Um, come on, come on. There's a, there's a brand deal in it. I, I, yeah. I gave George and three other people five minutes to spend five grand. Jeez. Yeah, that, that was nuts, man. Yeah. No spoiler. I guess deal, we won't spoil it. But. Brand, deal did, brand deal did not cover that. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's just sometimes you have to go above and beyond. And for example, with Mr. Beast, what do you see now? Now he's opening his burger thing. You see, I've seen so many YouTubers and so many influencers buying his food and tweeting it and Instagramming yeah. it, you know, so free promotion just because he's done years of like the groundwork, you know, he's, he's, he's done good content. Mm -hmm. He's done good things yeah, to people sure. and people want to share this now. Yeah. yeah so just, I wish, wish brands yeah, would just yeah, look yeah. at that and look how like you can, you can promote things. It's crazy, but. Yeah. His whole thing is like, he just gives to people. He gives, 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 gives. And by people seeing how much, how generous he is and just how much of a good person he is, people just give back. Yep. Without exactly. even thinking, exactly. without even thinking twice, you know, yeah, I'm going to share this guy's stuff. I'm definitely going to support him because he's just going to give back. Yeah. Like, that's his thing. He just gives back. Whatever you give to him, he gives like tenfold. <laughs> yeah, and it's just, it's just good content, man. Good content, good ideas. And um, yeah. like, that just, like, it's like karma, right? Karma just, just come back in good ways and bad ways. But um, mm -hmm. I think one thing he said as well at the end of the video that uh, unfortunately he couldn't get it international. Uh, he couldn't get, he tried his hardest, but he couldn't get stores open international. Uh, but he's going to try in the next year to try and do that. But I do feel like, you know, in the UK, that's I feel like we are one of the... Uh, it, it, I feel like if it does come international, I feel like we'll be one of the ones to get it first. So hopefully we'll try it one day. Yeah, yeah 100%. That's so ridiculous, isn't it? Like the fact he's literally just gone, yeah, we're going to make it like a restaurant. I know it's not a restaurant, an online restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just go, yeah, 300 is ridiculous. Next year. 300 and, and he wants another thousand next year. Just mental, man. 100 in one go. Like... Again, like not I mean, obviously, that, I, I imagine the costs involved are, are are massive, but it's a smart way of doing it, right? Like, no, no way could you go and open like nine hundred actual restaurants where you have to sit in, you know. But this way, I guess no, you'd open like you'd open one. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now, <laughs> yeah, all you gotta do is expand. have one chef, right? Like, well, a couple of chefs or whatever in the kitchen, and then you're and then obviously the external drivers who are involved with like Uber Eats and Share Hub is I don't know the American ones, Food Hub or something. Yeah, but you wouldn't have to pay you them. Wouldn't have to actually do that. Like yeah, they that do would it. Be run through the other stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's genius, really. Yeah, you just, you just, you just pay them a small fee, 
That's it. so mad. Yeah, and he has he has um so he has like Chandler, Chris, and all, like burgers of those people as well and what they like. And I think I'm not sure who one of the, oh, one of his mates. That's amazing. Man. They had like a grilled cheese sandwich, which is just like it's just like a, a bun with cheese in it. But he likes for some reason he likes it inverted. <laughs> so you get like the burger inverted with the cheese in. So like you know how you got a regular bun, flip those over so the yeah. the actual bun is facing inwards. If that makes sense. <laughs> that's so oh weird. yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah. order that's that. That's the yeah. kind of thing where like people people wouldn't know like restaurant kind of thing or like Deliveroo site would we'll try that. that yeah whereas he can do that and people will see it as like quirky and it'll yeah. work yeah like, and they want to do it because of that like everyone's like oh, i want to try upside down burger <laughs> yeah it's gonna say uh, like i could just order a burger and just flip them myself <laughs> yeah. but it's not the same it's, it's, not, not, the same. it's not the same man um, i want them pre-flipped <laughs> yeah yeah flipper. <laughs> pre-flipped flipper. that's true did, did you ever watch like, um uh, yeah, go on go on go on i was gonna say i feel like it's do you see that kind of thing happen in the UK? Like, do you think that could happen in the UK? I don't, I don't feel like we have the balls for it, man. That's what I mean. Just don't have the balls for it. Yeah. There's... Ugh. I don't know. Because I won't lie to you, we have spoken about it for a while. Yeah. But it's just, yeah. Mr. Beast just gets things done. You know, I feel like... What, I, yeah. Mean, like a food place? Or... Yeah. Essentially. I feel like some of the ideas you guys have, right, as a side man, you, some ones that you say like, oh, no, we can't do that. Maybe one day say to each other, do it. You know what I'm saying? Do it and try and yeah. try and like take it apart and think ways you can do it differently to other people that benefits you and the audience as well. Because maybe that might be the big next thing, you know, for you guys. So like, oh, we can't do that. It's too yeah. a- a- adventurous. Or maybe like, oh, maybe that's like a next year, like one of your side brand New Year's resolutions is one of the ideas you guys say, oh, maybe we can't do that. Try and do it. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Even you guys could do like, oh, a merch store where you would grab other creators' merch as well and sell it in there as well as yours, but you just charge them a little fee. That would be dope. Like, like, like an guys... in-person one or like an online Yeah, one. like a, like an actual store. Well, we oh, wanted to do, do the... Online too. Did you ever see like an a... Lux did Box Park? Yeah, 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 yeah. Time ago for the Lux, like... Yeah, but he like shut it down. Yeah, yeah. So we were told we weren't allowed to. Why? Oh, wow. Because he shut it down. It was literally <laughs> there like... They were, they were there like, yeah, we just can't. The numbers will be too, like... Okay, yeah. Well, you yeah. guys have the bigger... So maybe you could even open, like, a pop-up shop for, like, a month or something where you just yeah. sell all your stuff. I just and don't you feel guys like England in the does shop that. Working. Huh? It's just, like, I don't feel like England does that. Like, FaZe did that in LA. I know yeah, but you Logan guys did one in, like, New York, etc. I feel like... That's why you guys are setting the example. I know, and that's where it's take, one of those take things. Take the lead to, and just do it. You have to just figure yeah. out how to do it. It's, the logistics of it, yeah. yeah. You know, there's always spaces that are like, oh, you can rent this space or whatever. Just rent it for a couple months, set yeah. it up, do a massive, massive shop merch, all your merch you've ever made, all the spares you have, everything. It would be yeah, well, sick. That's, that's hopefully a... Post that's yeah. well, that's a post COVID thing, and also hopefully yeah. a New Year's resolution kind of thing as well. Yeah, that'll be jokes. Be live. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't have anything else to really talk about, if I'm honest. No, I feel like that's everything like we had written. And as, as George, anything you got? Um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Legit, yeah. Hey. Merry, Merry, Christmas. <laughs> time, yeah. Merry Christmas. Well, I hope everyone Merry who is at home happy, can happy, still yeah. spend time with family, even if it, even if that is like through a phone call or FaceTime or whatever, just. I don't know, play a game with, play Among Us with your family. That sounds like a good idea, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. 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 Play Among Us with your family. Why not? And uh, as usual, everyone make sure you check out Jords in the description down below or yep. over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Astro Jords. Go check or, him out. Go yeah, give him a follow, man. Twitter as well. Jords. Well, well, sorry, Jords. Jords. What, what uh, milestones are you close to hitting on anything? Oh, yeah. That's all. Then we have a new rule, Jords. Yeah. Ooh. So you need to set milestone. a milestone to come back uh-huh. on the podcast, basically. Ooh, miles. Oh, so I can't come back unless I hit this. No, 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 you can. But <laughs> no, 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 you can, you can t- personally, but no, not, not to the audience because they won't do it now. <laughs> like, for example, um, you're on. So you're on twenty nine point three thousand followers on Twitch. Yes. Um, well, first of all, let's get out to 30 think, straight away, isn't it? Surely, guys, come on. That's got to be 30 straight away. Yeah, yeah. But I reckon yeah. like 50k followers on there. Yeah. Next year. So next year, I feel like Twitch maybe, yeah, hit a 50K. Come on. 
I got partnership this year. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's big. That's that was big. one of the goals. That was one of the goals this year as well. It's hard to do as well, isn't it? I know a lot of people are really like right. it's a really long process to get yeah, it done. It's such a process, but I got that, so I hit that goal, and I was like, yes. I feel like next year I want to do like at least YouTube content, maybe like once a month, yeah, two times a month, and kind of you know just so I have like another output because right now all I do is live content. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and the struggle with live content is. You need to be live for people to yeah. to catch your content. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're I not think so. live, you're not you. You ain't got the content there. So I kind of want to have a um, secondary thing like YouTube, just do like a couple of videos. So I'd say maybe like oh, hundred k in a year. Of course, yeah, that's yeah, possible. Come yeah. on, come on. Nothing's not possible. It's possible. You're up to fifty six k now. Yeah, that's so I want to yeah. I want to hit that. I want to hit that next year as well. So fifty k to each hundred k on. Uh, YouTube. I think those are good numbers to hit. Okay. And yeah, just be consistent, man. I'm consistent with Twitch right now. So if I can get like on a roll with the tube and stuff, then that is my goal's reach, man. Yeah. Well, everyone watching this or listening to this, make sure you go sub to George on YouTube and yep. follow him on Twitch. <laughs> yep. Because we'll we'll be able to have him in person next time. Yes, finally yeah, again. Yeah. No, I won't be on the podcast again. Yeah. Ooh. So no. Nah, <laughs> No, you won't. We have to say that. We yeah, we won't be. You won't yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, go check them out. Also, make sure you check out all the sponsors in the description down below as well. Um, go check out the offers there and the deals. And um, yeah. yeah, I think with, uh, awesome. yeah, we'll, we'll hit you with a new one soon, SAP as well. Um, I, I think it's going to be a Discord one again. Uh, I don't know how long it it's going to last, but... Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, before we get sad, let's see you guys later. Have a good Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks for the support. Take care.